Yo, yo. Happy Transfer Portal Week. Uh, you know, a lot like Jewish people don't celebrate Christmas. I don't. I don't uh, celebrate Transfer Portal Week uh, because I'm a Clemson fan. What's up, Harry? Dog behind enemy lines. Yeah, good morning, Jeremy. I learned something yesterday. Well, I know you guys know that uh, you know the Earth is flat and all that, and uh, and birds aren't real. But I didn't know until yesterday that indeed pandas aren't real. Did you guys know that? I mean, I've been I, I've been to zoos before. Now I don't like zoos. We all know how, how I feel about zoos. Um, but I've seen pandas in the, in person. But apparently, I've been lied to. Did y'all know this? I gotta reevaluate my life. I mean. I've been thinking I've been floating around on a globe uh, through space. Uh, I, I, I thought birds were real, and now pandas aren't real? Y'all think I'm kidding? <clears throat> I'll show you the evidence in a minute. I'll show you guys the evidence. Well, what's up, Alakazam? Sir UGA Slaw doesn't know what wake up means. Did I figure out the trigger issue? Yeah, uh, uh, thanks to the uh, the good people on the interwebs, um, I did figure it out. Now, it's not fixed, but that's exactly why I posted that video. I posted that video on YouTube, I posted that video on Twitter, and I posted the video on a, a Reddit uh, Canic uh, forum. And uh, yeah, I do know what's I do know what's what's what the what the problem is. Um, but I'm not in any, any hurry to fix it because it's not a big deal, but unfortunately the part that I need to order for it to, to make it normal again, this is the thing with, this is the thing with guns. They're just like cars. Uh, you can buy you can buy an entire brand new car for twenty thousand dollars, but if you want to replace one part, it costs you a thousand, right? It's like uh, it's not even worth spending the well, at least not right now. It's not even worth uh, replacing the part because it's it's so it's ridiculously overpriced for what it is. I mean, it should it should cost about two dollars is what it should cost, but, it, but but in reality, it costs like fifty. So I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. You know, what's up, Dick? Uh, all that really matters, Sir UGA, is whenever I pull the trigger, it goes bang. <laughs> that's the main. Uh, that's the main point. So I'm good.
But yeah. Uh, Alakazam says, I just got my PS VR2 today. P- what is that? Is that like a, a virtual reality thing? Look at this. Look, look who's here. Tiger and the boar. I don't think I've seen, unless you've just been lurking. Tiger and the Boro uh, is, is an OG around the Pigskin Pete YouTube channel. Just haven't seen him in a while. You know? I don't know how he found this channel. This isn't a football channel. Uh, I'm just letting you know, just, just in case this is your first time on this channel. My football channel is, is my, my other channel. Uh, this is where... Look. I mean, we do talk about football on here, but I'm about to tell you about how pandas aren't real. Okay? What's up, Michael? Yeah, pandas aren't real. Yeah, I I I upload the uh, the occasional uh, football video during the off season on the main channel and do some live shows now and then. But uh, see, what had happened was when did that when did I start this channel? Was that I guess it was during the football season last year because I did the midday show over there and then YouTube the YouTube police got a hold of me and shut my channel down for a week. So I moved the midday show over to here. Uh, that way, if this channel gets shut down, nobody cares. Right? Well, I don't care. I mean. Uh, so that's what happened. two minutes here still getting things set up uh, and then I'll show you the, the evidence of the, the pandas aren't real uh, check out abacus for bumper music, what you're playing now is in the same genre. Here, I'll show you what I'm playing now. Actually, I don't even know if I can show you because there's video that goes along with this. Well, I don't care. I'll show it to you for a second anyway. Here's what it is. Uh, Dark Synth FM. Uh, Dark Synth Way Radio for Action Gaming. That's what it's called. Uh, the video that goes along with it is pretty weird, too. Uh, I don't even particularly like this music. It, it, the only reason I even use it is because it's not copyrighted. <laughs> and it streams 24 hours a day on this channel. There's a bunch of channels like this that do that. As a matter of fact, they send me emails all the time saying that if I monetize my video and play their their music on my video, they'll split the revenue with me, Uh, which I haven't done because, well, there's no point. Uh, Plus, this channel is not monetized. Shout out to Vic. What's up with Vic? Yeah, it's like... uh, I guess you would call it anime. I don't know what this is called. It's weird is what it is. Um, well, before I get to the panda story, I'll share another st- a story with you. Uh, I, I already shared this with some of the uh, some of the fellas in the group chat that we're in, a uh, group text uh, thing. 
Um, so my, my, my oldest son, he's 16 years old. All right. Uh, he'll be 17 this year. He's a sophomore in high school. Uh, and he's a great kid. But yesterday he came home from school and of course, um, uh, well, Mrs. Pete actually, I, most of the time I actually make dinner because I'm just a better cook. <laughs> but, but yesterday, Mrs. Pete uh, had had uh, some uh, was cooking chicken in the crock pot. She was going to shred the chicken and make. Uh, now hold on now, what's going on here? Sorry, I got I got distracted by this video. Um, yeah, so so she's she's slow cooking some chicken in the crock pot so that she can make ch uh, barbecue chicken sandwiches for dinner. Well, Pete Jr. comes home from school and decides to inform uh, uh, me and Mrs. Pete that he no longer eats meat. That's right, a vegetarian in that. Now, look, if he wants to be a vegetarian, more power to him. That's fine. I don't care what he eats, honestly. Uh, but here's what's not going to happen. I'm not going out of my way to spend extra money at the grocery store uh, for his stupid ass diet, whatever he's trying to do. I'm not doing it. So, I mean, virtually outside of when we have like spaghetti or something, and even then, sometimes there's meat in that. But outside of like, you know, once a week, every dinner that I'm that we make has meat in it. It's either chicken or beef or sausage or whatever. Pork. You know, I'm not going to the grocery store and spending $100 on fucking lettuce and beets or whatever, the, whatever the hell he's trying. I don't even know what he's trying to eat, uh, but I'm not doing it. And uh, I t and, that and that's exactly what I told him. I said, well, that's fine, son, except for the fact that you're going to be hungry as shit because I'm not, I'm not stopping making uh, meat just because you decided you don't want to eat meat anymore. You know? A hundred dollars says it's because of some girl. Yeah, that's possible, I guess. Uh, what's up, Bulldog JC? He says, send prayers to BVD's foot. Yeah, I feel bad. You know, at the Slob Olympics, BVD rolled up. It, it, <laughs> I, I didn't... <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I just heard myself say that. I'm not trying to make fun of him, you know, rolling up. But he did physically roll up in a wheelchair. And um, his foot was all jacked up. Now, we are, we are, well, he's only got one foot. But his other foot was jacked up, and, I, and um, I, I can't remember who it was now. I think it might have been Traveling Fools said, hey, do you want to see a picture of BBD's foot? And I go, no, I, not necessarily. He goes, no, just, just look at it. It's not that bad. And he showed, I almost threw up. He showed, first of all, I don't even know why he had a picture of BBD's foot on his phone, but he did. And he showed it to me, and it was the most disgusting thing. It looked like, here's what it looked like. I can't really describe the way it looked, uh, other than to say it looked like if you, took, if you took BVD's foot and stuck it inside of a fire for like five minutes. That's what it looked like. It looked like he stuck his foot inside of a fire. And the skin was falling off, and it was—it was just—it was—it was. It was, just, it was, it was now, for, now, I feel bad for him because obviously that's got to be extra. Well, I don't know if he feels it or not because I don't think he has any feeling in his feet. But e either way, I feel bad for him because it just looks excruciating. Um, and I guess now, with the uh, from what I'm hearing, is that it's not healing or something, which is not good, obviously. So yeah, prayers for BBD's foot.
Yeah. What's up, Zona? Yeah, I I uh, I asked my son. I said, where? I said, what, what made you decide to become a vegetarian all of a sudden? You know. I said, do you think meat is unhealthy for you, or you just don't like factory farming? Like, what is what's the, what's what's the reason? Uh, and he told me that um, he's he's against uh, factory farming. That's what he told me. Now. That goes back to B, uh, uh, not BBD, <laughs> to uh, to uh, Slim Shady's point about it's, this. This almost 100 percent has something to do with some girl. You know, he's probably he's probably uh, you know likes some girl, and she's probably like, yeah, yeah, I won't date anybody who doesn't you know who eats meat because factory farming is wrong. You know, something like that. So he's like, well, fuck it. If I'm gonna, you know, if I'm gonna have a chance with her, I gotta stop eating meat. <laughs> Now, I have done even more extreme things than stop eating meat uh, to get laid before. <laughs> so, so I, I, I completely understand if that's the case. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's a, a movement that I can get behind. Uh, what's up, Vic? Uh, do I bet on NBA games? Yeah, I do, unfortunately. Uh, at this point, I'm a total degenerate. I'll bet on anything. Uh, Colby, I don't know if Colby's listening or not, but Colby's, he's, listen, Colby was betting on the, who was going to be the first pick in the, in the WNBA draft. Like, that's a whole le- a different level. I'm not to that level yet. Um, but yes, I, I know, I, look, I know like three NBA players. Right, I know uh, Steph Curry. I know LeBron James. I know uh, 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 Draymond Green. I, I don't know. Maybe I maybe I know like a dozen. Like if I if I really sat down and thought about it, I could probably name like twelve NBA players. That's it. I don't know shit about shit. I don't know who the best team is. I don't know who the worst team is. I don't know anything about it. But yes, I do bet on it. <laughs> And baseball. Boy, I think yesterday might have been the first time I ever bet on a baseball game. Well, I don't even know if I won. How you doing, Rack Dog? Um, all right, let's... Uh, Let's get the shit show started. Turn this uh, weird music off here. Do that first. That's important. Uh, and now, being the professional that I am, I should have had this already queued up, but of course I didn't. So give me a second. Uh, don't worry, we're not going to watch Talk Talk all day. Uh, but I am going to show you this. Uh, how the fuck? Oh my God. Shut up. Now, I told you at the top of the show that pandas are not real. Uh, and here's the proof. Here. Almost every family has a panda. That is a big fat lie. Pandas do not exist. They don't exist in people's homes. They don't exist in the wild. But they do exist in the zoo. <laughs> the first panda to be discovered was in the 1920s. And the first panda to be brought over to the U.S. was in the 1930s by this woman. And you know how I feel about women. So you're telling me in over 4,000 years. Now, this is perfect timing that Volusia. What's up, Volusia? Because, uh, b- because well, for, because Volusia's in China. He, he can give us a firsthand account of what this gentleman uh, in this video is claiming. Of Chinese history, they've never 
seen pandas until the 1920s. <laughs> even in the Chinese zodiac, they have a dragon. Dragons are real, but pandas aren't. They've been lying <laughs> to you about animals. These are. This is called a fake animal. They have fake animals in the zoos <laughs> just to gain Mate. popularity, gain gain money, gain traction. But this, look at this picture. That's a stuffed animal. <laughs> but they make you think it's real. The majority of pandas you see in zoos are just fake. They're animatronics. They're puppets. They're people in fursuits. They, they use everything they can to make you believe pandas are real. And they get so much funding for it. But... You will never find amateur footage of them in the <laughs> wild. You will never, you never, you'll get Animal Planet, you'll get nature photos, videos of people who who run it, run the show or whatever, and they'll they'll make fake videos of it. But you you'll never see amateur videos of it. You will never discover a panda in the wild. You're telling me <laughs> this animal only eats one thing, one thing. It can only eat. <laughs> And it only mates one time a year. <laughs> Bro, you, this is the fakest animal <laughs> you'll ever discover. Even faker than dinosaurs. Like oh, they no. Will use people in first Not dinosaurs, you know, too. Jesus food. Christ, man. I haven't, I haven't even had time to digest the fact that pandas aren't real. Now you're telling me dinosaurs aren't real? Can we, let's, let, look, one species at a time, please. Suits, they just paint dogs. It's not real. If you know anything about the Shiluminati or their symbolism, or what pandas eye, panda eyes mean, like you start to understand everything. Oh they no, do not is that! Fake and just to make money and just to make you believe in their lies. They love it when you believe in their lies. Almost every family. Oh, okay. So that is uh, now. I so I saw I saw that vi somebody posted that video on Twitter yesterday. That's how I saw it. And of course, being the, the investigative journalist that I am, uh, I went down a, a, a pandas are fake rabbit hole. So this is a whole movement now. Um, he's, I don't know if he's the leader of it, but other people think this too. Pandas being <laughs> fake. That one I love. It's you know, and so the, 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 true. He bred them like a really stupid dog. You know what I mean? These are poodle bears. <laughs> a really stupid dog. about the way pandas are. It leads me to believe that they should have existed. Yeah, Nothing. there aren't any old Chinese art. So you're telling me a 4,000 year old civilization ignored their existence for 3,900 years and then made them their mascot for everything? That is insane. Like, we like had the Olympics there and they're like, all right, this is our thing now. <laughs> wow. Pandas <laughs> being. Hey, there's a panda right there. That's real. That's not a person in a suit. Is it? Looks like a panda to me. Uh, probably the best way to judge if it's a person in a suit or not is like watch it take a shit. You know? If it takes a shit like a panda, it's probably a panda. All right. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, Volusia says that not only, but he's, he's not only are they real, he's seen them, which I have too. You know, not in China, but in the zoo. Uh, and he says that, that uh, this guy's claim that they only eat one thing is just not true. They eat all kinds of stuff, he says. I mean, I guess you could say like my cat, like I have a cat. And before that, I had two dogs. They only ate one thing. Uh, they were in dog food, cat food. But that doesn't mean that they wouldn't eat other things if I gave it to them. If I gave my dog a steak, it would eat it. You know, it just so happens that I can't afford to feed my dog steak. Well, I feed him dog food. Uh, SEC dog says pandas are so dumb they eat bamboo, uh, which has zero nutritional value. Is that true? Ha now hold on now. If that was true, then they would die. Then they would be dead. I mean, cows eat grass, right?
Uh, does grass have nutritional value? <laughs> I should tell Pete Jr. since he since he told me he's going to be a vegetarian now. I should I should be like, well, you know what you should be do is eat bamboo. But it's the healthiest thing you can eat. I mean, look at the pandas. You know. So. Uh, what's up? Welcome to the show, sir. Dude, I think I'm actually starting to believe this because while you were going through that, I did a quick Google search. Even Steve Irwin never encountered a panda in the wild. That's a good point. Now, they do bring up some pretty interesting points as far as, you know, China's been, you know, Chinese uh, writing and, and whatnot has been around for, what, 5,000 years or whatever it is. And, but there's no pictures of pandas. Like, even, even, like, cavemen were drawing pictures of fucking, you know, all kinds of different animals, but, but the no pandas? I don't, I don't that, that does seem fishy. Yeah. Right? And, 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 I mean, the guy <laughs> in the video seemed like a, a, an upstanding Chinese gentleman. I'm going to take his word over the, yeah. over the word of a white guy know. with a receding hairline. <laughs> hairline. So, yeah. did, he, uh, did he say where he was from? Well, he, to, he, appear, he appeared to be American to me. I mean... Right. I mean, he, he definitely uh, has Asian DNA, but I think he's an American. <laughs> I don't think that guy was Chinese. It could be like Chinese in China. It could be that. It could be a lot of different things. He could just be insane, which appears to be the case. Um, you know, I don't know. People believe all kind of silly shit. Yeah. What's next? I mean, first, first, now the, 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 we, we've talked about the flat earth at nauseum, at nauseum on here. And, um, that that's that's gone way out of control at this point. Like there's there's so many people that are stupid enough to think that the earth is flat that it's just it's spiraled out of control. Now the bird the birds aren't real people. That's just well, that's a, a that's just a goof. Right? I hope so, man. Yeah, the, the birds well, aren't I'm real sure people, it's a goof. There's a few drone you know, bird looking drones flying around. Yeah. Maybe. But Not every bird. Yeah, but those birds aren't real people. They just did that. That's a whole like social media thing to get uh, views and whatnot. It's just a, a giant joke. Yeah, but, like, like my problem with that whole thing is, I mean, okay, but where do we draw the line? Because, you know, chickens are birds, flamingos are birds, penguins are birds. That's a good point. Well, I mean, there was, for, ex for example, um, there was a bird that flew into my back screened in porch yesterday and couldn't get out. I saw the bird. I was out there with the bird. He was definitely real. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, he wasn't a drone. Yeah, this one's a bit off the rails. I mean, you know. But anyway, but now it's pandas. Uh, they, and there's the, 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 the same people, the flat earth people. They're also yeah. the ones that say that dinosaurs aren't real. They've been oh, saying that, God. yeah, dinosaurs aren't real, but dragons are. And that's what they say yeah. that they are. They say that they're, they're lying to you saying that th there was uh, dinosaurs roam the earth for, you know, millions of years, but it, it was actually dragons. Now, right. Well, there are dragons in traditional Chinese art, so they must be real. Right. Every it's like it's like that all he did was they watched you remember that show the Game of Thrones? Yeah, yeah the Game of Thrones. That that's that's the flat earth uh like Bible. Everything from that show, dragons, real, uh right. ice wall, real. Now, I'll i I'll say this. When it when something shows up in enough different cultures on opposite ends of the earth. Right. There may be some validity to it. Now, maybe not to the extent that, you know, to the spin Hollywood puts on it, but there may be some truth to it. What are we, what are we talking about specifically? Yeah what, yeah, what are you saying specifically? Well, you've had dragons show up and say, you know, ancient Asian culture, ancient European okay. culture. Well, the dragons are different. I mean, the dragons, for example, Chinese dragons are way different looking than, and apparently had different powers and were totally different then. 
dragons in well, Saint I Gabriel. get that, but what I'm saying is the origins of it. There's probably a grain of truth in the origins of it somewhere. Sure. But yet, I doubt that there were there were these you know thirty foot long things flying around the sky breathing. Yeah, fire. yeah. Well, that that was the Hollywood spin I was talking. Yeah, about. the fire yeah. breathing part. Now, I do think there is some uh, some uh, pretty decent evidence that, and this is this is like real science. This isn't you know Game of Thrones shit. Is that 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 uh, dinosaurs are were closely related to birds, totally and most likely had feathers on them too. I mean, look if you look at one, it looks like a bird. Yeah, no, yeah, birds are the, are, the, are the surviving relatives of dinosaurs. Yeah. True. Well, uh, so is an alligator. Um, actually, yeah. less so. Less so, but yes, but less so. So, so the reptilians were kind of different from the dinosaurs. Alligators have been around since pretty much dinosaur times. The closest relative is birds. Did you say reptilians? Yeah, but some, <laughs> I mean, some, something tells me that a fucking T-Rex wasn't covered in feathers, though. But how do you know that? Oh, man. Maybe not. Yeah, we don't know that. Yeah, uh, we don't know that for certain. Until I mean, if, somebody, if un, until O'Reilly Auto Parts gets that goddamn flux capacitor back in, the explanation that I've heard is that um, while the while the bones will fossilize, that the, the, the feathers won't. So we wouldn't have any way of knowing if they did have feathers or not. There you go. The only way would be if they were in amber, which doesn't appear. Yeah, or cool. like if they were frozen in, in ice, like uh, like that woolly mammoth that they're gonna clone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or a tar pit. Tar pit. Yeah. A tar pit. So the, the, the peat bog, right? But the problem with the peat bog is that's just how they they rot or the, how they they turn it. Yeah. To what's up, Senor Dog? Uh, Wilkie wants to know what's my thoughts on the Black Knight as a satellite. I don't even know what they what he's. Do you guys know what he's saying? No. What is that? I don't know. Enlighten us. Inform us. I'm all about some conspiracies. Yeah. Oh, is this another conspiracy? I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming it is. It sounds like one. The Black, what the fuck? The black Knight. I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting on some president to finally finish Reagan's Star Wars program. What? What Chinese? Nukes in space, baby. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about because i mean pandas uh yeah, i mean chinese people knew about pandas uh, for a long time so. but yeah. why but how come they did how come they didn't draw any yeah i don't know why it didn't uh but Belusha, i it, have, yeah have you ever seen a panda in the wild i uh, know that you can't because they all live on this nature preserve they don't like yeah them. and that's the thing too is they, they they say you never find one in the wild but is that because they're, they're endangered aren't they i mean there's only yeah, like a thousand like of them in the world or something. people aren't allowed out here to look at them that's convenient yeah, yeah you're not allowed to. it's like they have some of them that they put on like display and shit and of course i've seen those they right. yeah i've seen the ones them. at the memphis zoo right, right 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 apparently they came back last year or whatever but yeah right. there um, were um emperors who had like pandas as pets so yeah, yeah yeah i'm sure they did that back in yeah yeah I mean, I, I mean i looked it up about i did find fine legends about pandas and stories sure. about emperors who had pandas as pets and like there was like uh, pandas that were given to someone in japan as a uh, a gift so yeah right. so yeah. what you're saying vic is that chinese type guy that was on tiktok is full of shit oh yes yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, about how um, pandas weren't discovered until the nineteen seventies. Well, actually, pandas were uh, were um, discovered by Europeans in um, eighteen sixty nine. So. Eighteen sixty nine. So according to the guy on TikTok, he says that the first panda that was brought brought over to North America wasn't until the nineteen twenties. Now that might be true, I don't know. Brought to but North America. that has yeah, nothing to do with whether or not they're real. Yeah. And uh, was discovered by some British guy, you uh, know, by some uh, British explorers. And in- yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure it was discovered by Chinese people. I was gonna say that term discovery. <laughs> right. like it was, Columbus it discovering was, America, like it was discovered. I don't know. <laughs> that's like saying that Christopher Columbus discovered America. Is that what you said? Right. Yeah. Right. Well, that's, <laughs> White people found out. Well, it, it wasn't yeah, right. all the map. Yes, correct. There but you go. Chinese well, the arrogance people. of white people. But Chinese oh, people. So, some well, Christopher Columbus wasn't even white, though. He was I know. Spanish. I know. But some, but so, some jabroni from Spain got lost because he's a terrible uh, seaman. 
uh, ended up in America, and all of a sudden now he discovered it. Well, Never mind the fact that there was already people here when he got here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> people are white. I don't know if you've ever met someone from Spain. They're white. Yeah, Spanish people are white. Yeah. Spanish people are white. I've met a bunch of people that speak Spanish and they're not very white. Spanish, oh, hold on, back up. Spain or like back up. From, from back Spain up. Are white. Spanish people yeah. are not white. Spanish no, people from Spain are white. No, they're not. Yeah. From Spain? Yeah, from Spain. Spain? Spain? Look up, look up, Google quick, real quick. Oh, the people from Spain. White. Yeah, even people from Italy aren't white. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. From Italy are. Are, are you are you trying to tell me that every but every European country is white? Yes. No. Yeah, okay, well, in, in that modern that seems kind of racist. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm, it's okay I know, I'm not bad. saying it is either, but it's not true. Wait, yeah, guess this, what? Go, go tell somebody. Go tell a Greek person that they're white. They'll slap shit out of you. Yeah, no, they won't. <laughs> yeah, they will. Go, t- go t- white. Listen. Go they tell a, a, a Spanish person that, that they're white. They'll be like, "No, I'm not. I'm Spanish." People are white. That's like saying, "Okay," but that's like me saying, "I'm not white. I'm fucking American." But you are white. No, you're you're Anglo-Saxon. <laughs> <laughs> in that. Actually, actually, Belushi is right. Most people that have far-reaching Spanish, Italian, Greek heritage are more olive-skinned. Okay, yeah, for sure. But okay, okay, still, look, still, we're not, we're not, we're not fundamentally disagreeing here. The idea is that in 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 twenty first century Western countries, people from Spain and Italy are white. Now, now this is interesting. Uh, Zona Tucson. Uh, now we had a chance to meet him in Charleston last year at the Slot Olympics or two years ago, and uh, cool yeah, very cool dude. Love him. Uh, he's claiming that he says I'm part Hispanic, but I'm white. Uh, no, you're not. I've seen you. <laughs> you're not white. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you're tan. What, what what is white then? Not, not, listen, first you of all, can't be I part Hispanic and white bullshit. at the same time. That doesn't make any sense. I, I think that all of this is bullshit anyway. Like, yeah, it doesn't you check like, different boxes on a form at the DMV. Yeah, now, look, he identifies white. he true. identifies as white, but that like, but I can I can identify as a tree. That doesn't make me a tree. Right. Oh uh, well, you know. well, transracial is a thing now. Let's not forget. That's insane. Yeah. Stop. Rachel Dolezal. <laughs> yeah, Rachel Dolezal. Don't Rachel forget Sean King. <laughs> Rachel Dolezal is an only trans. No, um, which is true, by the way, and funny. But um, no, that's no, great. No. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a funny thing to think about, but probably not to look at. Anyways, um, no, dude, what does it mean? Like, what race is exactly? What race is Tiger Woods? Is Barack Obama black or white? I don't know. Well, he's not either. He's 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 half black, half Asian. His mom, his mom is uh, uh, what 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 nationality was she? It's Thai, I think. Thai, like yeah, Thai. Thai. That's right. Tiger Woods is a mix of a number of different things. His dad's black, mom's uh, Asian. I don't know. Guess that what? That, that, like that. that encompasses about 99% of the planet. We're all a mix of a bunch of different things. Right. It's so weird, too, exactly because... That. Correct. Almost, correct. almost every mixed race person, I, if, if, there's, if there's any black in them at all, they, they identify as black. Like, right, well, for example, uh, President Barack Obama. Sure. He's half white, but but, but we call him the first black president. Why? Right. But do you think that's more that he identifies as black, or people identify society identifies him as black? I think both. I mean, yeah. I so think does that mean we only get half idea. credit for voting in a black president then? I, I mean, I don't care. I don't know. I. This is a solid. <laughs> <thing. laughs> He's a fuck, dude. Like, I, don't, <laughs> I just don't care about this kind of shit. Is Belushi? <laughs> Tiger Woods is Asian, according to Chappelle. Yeah. Yeah. Right. True. And uh, uh, no, 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 no. Tiger Woods is black. He got drafted by. Remember, because he was like Parshezol. Remember that? Oh yeah, the racial draft. It's yeah. The Wu Tang Clan are Asian. Speaking remember? of that, uh, the racial draft on the Chappelle show might be the, one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. But you, do you think that he could make that today? No. It wouldn't. Be, well, you know, you know who one of the hosts was? You don't, people don't remember this. One of the hosts, like the commentators, was Bill Burr. Yeah. 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 People don't remember that. He's white. Bill Burr is hilarious. <laughs> He's hilarious. He's funny as shit. He's definitely white. <laughs> but his wife is black, yeah. so his kids are what? I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. Well, they're mixed. I guess. Yeah, like the rest of us. Yeah, word. I agree. I always like to say I'm only black from the waist down. There you go. Yeah. 
So no, so <laughs> Tiger Woods, here here it is. Tiger Woods is one quarter Thai, one quarter Chinese, one quarter Caucasian, one eighth African American, and one eighth Native American. So there you go. Well, Asian there. Did you guys see uh somebody you know you know like the 23 and me or whatever it is or the ancestry.com where you send off and get your yeah. your thing somebody took a list because you know how they say there's lizard people somebody took an actual lizard and, and got oh. saliva out of it and sent it off to 20 and three and me you know like it was a human and they nice. and it came back with actual results <laughs> did it say lizard no <laughs> we're, 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 proving, we're proving the lizard people true. Yeah, there's actually they proved it. They proved it. Now I uh, I, I threw around the idea. Should I do that for for the for a bit on this show? Is, is should I do a twenty three and me to see what I? I already know what I am. I think. Yeah. You think? Well, I I, I do know that b both my mother and father's side uh, back in. What, what, what generation would that have been? They're probably the late 1800s. Uh, but the, both of my sides of the family migrated here from Ireland. So I know I'm Irish. Right. Now, I don't know if there's anything else in there. You know. Uh, there's, there's very likely because you ever heard of the black yeah. Irish? Yes. And that's, that's not a joke. That's I know. That's true. Thing. Yeah, that's a real thing. Okay. So that's, that's actually a mix of Irish and Spanish. Right. Like the Irish side of my family is black Irish. Irish. The what's only that? <laughs> what's that? He just told you. He says it's, uh, it's Irish with some Spanish lineage. Yeah. When the Spanish Armada, the survivors of the Spanish Armada that was defeated off the coast of Ireland, right, settled in Ireland. And now I do know, I do know that my great great, I think it's my great great grandmother was not Irish. She was from Wales. So maybe I have some Welsh in me too, like a small amount, but I think I'm probably about like 90% Irish, if I had to guess. From Wales. Also perhaps a bit of sheep. Some sheep in there too. <laughs> <laughs> so what well, mo most people that are Irish and or Scottish have got, whether it's, you know, Welsh or just British in general, English blood in there as well. Yeah, true. Yep. So what were the, well, what were like the lizards, uh, results um i don't remember i think it was something like you know it just tells you like what part of the world you're from or whatever i think it just said like you're you're from like some asian country or something I, but but i don't know how that all some works Asians, other lizard people? you would think that the uh, results would come back inconclusive if it's not human dna well i mean maybe that's, i mean the lizard is uh asian so yeah i mean Genghis Khan had a lot of kids. Maybe he fucked a lizard too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, like a, a very large uh, percentage of the world's population is descended from Genghis Khan. So uh, it's not the world's but, population, but it's the Asian population. I think like, what they say, like a third of the Asian population can descend back to Genghis Khan or something like that. Yeah, Nature Boy was, says has a good question. He says, "So lizards are Asian? You know what? I guess I don't know." I'm, some are, some lizards are Asian, but yeah. Yeah. Some lizards be Africans and might be. Yeah, some of them I think like aren't aren't like uh, like Komodo dragons. Where are they from? Is, it, is that like a South American thing? No, Komodo dragons are in Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Just, just, well, there's just, lizards uh, all around the world. I yeah, mean, there's lizards. There's yeah. Lizards yeah. Uh, yeah I, I mean, you've got you've got lizards native to the deserts out. I mean, Zona Man's probably seen some. Yeah, for sure. That are native yeah, out there in, in the desert. Too. The oh, yeah. You know this, Lynn. They're in Florida too. The, uh, oh, I've got li I've got lizards all over. I posted a I posted a video yesterday on on Twitter of my cat uh, eating a lizard yesterday. Yeah. On our back porch. Sometimes the step on the tail, the tail goes off, so you'd see a little, just a little lizard tail wriggling around, but the lizard's gone. Yeah. Yeah, they, heal. Yeah, they regenerate when you pull their tail off. Yeah, yeah that's I think it's called a uh, a newt, right? Can like re grow grow. I don't right? know. Is it a newt or is it like a gecko? Yeah. I think the ones that we have here are geckos. I think. I don't know. I'm not a lizard expert, but. It looks yeah. like that. It looks like that little guy on that Geico commercial. I know that. That's a gecko, obviously. Yeah, gecko. gecko, gecko that's the whole point. Right? Yeah. Yeah. 
So, I mean, he has a British accent, so are they native to Britain? That's true. He's got, like, a fucking... I just he's very, me. like... Yeah, that's weird. I didn't even think about that. What is his accent? It's like... I think it's English. No, no, no. It's British, for sure. It's, but it's, like... Yeah. It's not, like... I don't know. It's sort of like East Midlands ish. I don't know. It, it's definitely you not. You like do it. have different British accents, yeah. Totally. No, his is like not London. It's not like super southern, but it's not northern either. But it's not Birmingham. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, like you, you can see it in actors. Like uh, both uh, Tom Hardy and Jason Statham are very different British accents. Oh, totally. Jason Statham is East End London. He's fucking. Yeah. yeah. East End like this. Oh, Sir Ugga has a great point. He says lot lizards are American. That is true. Yeah, true. Yeah. Slim, you know I, that. I don't, think, I don't think that's an American invention. <laughs> I really don't. You don't think so? No, no something, tells, something tells me that originated in Amsterdam. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Wow. Lot lizards. I, I, I now, lot lizards are like talking about prostitution. I mean, yeah, lot lizards. And it's that's been what he means. Around, uh, yeah. For thousands of years, so I mean. It's yeah, but the world's oldest profession for nothing. But tr but truck stops yeah. aren't thousands of years old. Oh. Right. Truck stops may well be an American invention. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I just I legitimately don't know. So that's a good question. We should track the origin of truck stops. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'll have you an update uh, on Friday's show if there is. Hey, that brings show. me. Uh, I got a question for you, uh, Volusia, because I've never been to China before. Um, yeah. You know how in uh, the American interstate system, there's they have, we have rest areas. Yes. You, do they have rest areas in China? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Are, are they what are they are they called rest areas? Yeah. You just it's like yeah, it's the same. It's like um, they don't like so the gas stations here don't always sort of double as convenience stores in the city, but on the side of the highway they do. Yeah. Um, has anybody ever rested at a rest area? What do you mean? I mean, it's just a place. Yeah, like you'll have. Yeah, you'll have truck drivers. Like yeah, no. Okay, uh, let, let me rephrase that. Has has, has anybody who's just been traveling, driving a car, like on a family vacation, rested at a rest area? I have done that. Yeah, you have. Yeah, sure. I have too. Really? How do you say how do you say rest area in Chinese? Xiuxi <laughs> chu. What? Xiuxi <laughs> Xiuxi means rest. Chu means area. Xiuxi chu. <laughs> Juicy chew. Yep. Sort of, yeah. No yeah, comprende. So. No speaky English. You go. There... You've been here four hours. Yeah, rest there. You've been here four hours. Get out of here. <laughs> are there are there lot lizards in China? No. 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 Yeah, well not not well actually actually yeah, it's just not as common as it used to be, I think. I think all the Chinese prostitutes moved to America. They, 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 no, that's not true. <laughs> they, hey, maybe no, they just did the same thing the American prostitutes did. They, all, they're all posting on Craigslist now. Oh, right, yeah, right. There, there you go. Or they direct message you on Twitter. Shit like that. <laughs> well, yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's correct. Or I've they're in about half um, a dozen of those. Yeah. The big one here is that they're in KTV. Do you know what? Have you heard of KTV? KTV, no. What's that? It's karaoke, but like they don't do karaoke the way they do it in the states, where it's like one person in front of a bunch of strangers at a bar. You go, you go to a place that has you know private rooms. Some of them will have ten private rooms. Some of them have three hundred. Some of them are huge, and it's a room, and you go in, and it's got like microphones and a big TV screen, and you can select your songs. But you go in with just your friends. You don't go in with strangers. You just go in with your friends, like a party. No, wait okay. A I've seen yeah. Rush Hour too, and that's not true. That's not how they did it. I don't know. Maybe I don't Hong know. Kong's different, but no, they have yeah. KTV. No, you go in. Well, I don't know. I'm telling you what the, what it is. You go in and Chris Tucker you, did Michael Jackson in front of the whole. So bar. this sounds like yeah. this. No, you don't do that. You don't do no. That's do you know what Top Golf is, Felucia? Yeah, we have it. What Top Golf here? Okay, so it sounds like Top Golf except for karaoke. That's right. Yeah, that's exactly right. And and you and you 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 pick the songs and you pass the microphone and they'll put like the music video with the lyrics on it scrolling so you know the words and shit and you sing yeah. the songs. And then some of them are just normal. You'll have like people do their office parties there. And then, you know, the, you, some people will drink and get hammered and you play dice games. And then some of them, the, 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 the sleazier ones or the really upscale ones where the rich guys go, they'll have a bunch of girls come in and, you know, things will happen there. Oh, you know what? 
So you sing some karaoke and get your dick sucked too? Uh, (laughs) It sounds like a party. Yeah, or there could be some tits out and shit like that. Some of them you could just get them home for an extra fee, stuff like this. An extra fee. Belushi's got a lot of details about it. Yeah, you sounds like you've been been to one of these parties before. I've been to regular ones and CD ones, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. Wow. Wow. This is a very much a thing like... Yeah, that's a good question. Men who want to deal, rich businessmen who want to cut a deal with other rich businessmen will take them to take them to a nice fucking KTV and stuff like that. Yeah. Are yeah. there strip clubs in China? Yeah. No. This is this is the the replacement for strip clubs. There's no strip clubs. There's no strip clubs in China. Is that true? Wow. I didn't. I never would have thought that. Clubs. No, it's not allowed. Porn is no not allowed. Porn so freaky. They're <laughs> that's Japanese, dude. That's Japanese. That's Japanese. Inside. They, they all look the same. I think yeah, there is. Japanese. There's got to be strip clubs in Japan, though, right? I I've only been to Japan once, but I would imagine there are. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been to Japan, so I don't know. But I was only in Japan for like a day and a half, so I didn't give a chance. Yeah, to, uh, to maybe Japan's next on my list. That may be coming in the next couple of years, though. <laughs> Are you taking a boat? Maybe. All right, go for it. I would say do it. Japan's pretty cool. Oh. My wife's always wanted to go to Okinawa. There's nothing there, though. It's just like, isn't, isn't Okinawa like, it's, it's like the country, isn't it? It's a no, city, it's not a big There's city. Really good. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a big city to me, but then again, I hate cities. So. Oh, it is a big city. Uh, where, is that where, all I know about Okinawa, isn't that what was on Karate Kid? Well, you know? I mean, there's there's an outskirts to every city. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there was a battle of Okinawa in, in World War II, but yeah. yeah. I would say definitely uh, do Tokyo and Osaka. Well, she's always wanted to go to Okinawa because that's where the karate that she studied for the last 20 odd years is from. Yeah. Cool. Well, I actually have plans to go to Japan in two years from now. Now, mm-hmm. whether or not I can afford to do it at that time is, it, is, is still up for debate, but th- that is the plan. I mean, whether or not the world's still spinning at that point is up for debate. Well, that's a good that's point, cool. too. Oh, the world will still be spinning, it's just whether or not there are humans on it. Well, there, that's a good point, too. <laughs> As George Carlin said, the, we don't have to save the planet. Planet will, planet will shake us off like a bad case of fleas. Yeah. Well. It's the old, uh, if a tree falls in the woods and nobody's there to see it, it, it doesn't make a noise. It's the same thing with, with you know, if we're not here to, to know the earth's still spinning, does it really even matter? True. No. Exactly. Give me a second. I'll be right back. <coughs> um. Although, since my son is now... So, the reason we were going to Japan in the first place is because he wanted to go. And we told him, you know, if you graduate with A's and B's and whatever, well, then we'll take you on a trip to Japan. Uh, but now that he's a vegetarian, I don't know. Is there, like, he can't eat sushi? Convince him to be a pescatarian. That's I think he did say, actually, he did fish. say that. I keep saying vegetarian, but he did he did mention something about, I will eat fish. All right, that's a pescatarian. A pescatarian. You can totally go to Japan. You can, yeah. Just, don't, don't, they, don't they call them vegans today? No, vegan is no. no animal products at all. No eggs, no milk, no anything. It's just like lettuce and beans and shit. You know. Yeah, I do. Speaking of which, I did read a story on this girl that had like a really popular, apparently, YouTube channel that was like promoting veganism and all that. Uh, and then she died of malnutrition. Mm. Yeah, the whole idea that that, he, that meat is unhealthy is just not true. It's not true. Yeah, I think most people, and I don't know, I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian, but I think most people's rationale for being one of the two is not based on that the idea that meat is unhealthy. I mean, I think that's obviously bullshit. Well, a lot of people think that. That's silly. I know. It is silly. We're carnivores. I mean, we, we, we've evolved to be carnivores. I mean, uh, the, 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 reason, the reason that our, that our teeth are shaped the way that they are is because we eat meat. Yeah, right. omnivores. Omnivores. Omnivores, whatever. No, I'm a- 
Hey, no, if anything, like, I, I'll, I've done the carnivore diet. Like, nothing but beef and meat. Okay. Uh, I thought about doing that. Okay. And it, and it, and do you ever get um constipated due to lack of fiber or? No, that's what coffee is for. <laughs> there's no, I don't think coffee there's any fiber in coffee, but coffee and cigarettes will take care of that. <laughs> coffee yeah. and cigarettes, the fiber <laughs> alternative. That's what coffee and coffee's for. Oh. Uh, but meat is extremely nutritious. Now, if you, if you slather it with butter and salt and all kinds of other bullshit, then yeah, it's probably not healthy. But meat itself is not unhealthy. Lots of bullshit. And, and, and you know what? I haven't cooked with salt. I haven't added salt to anything in probably 15 years. Wow. Well, I don't add salt to anything, but I do cook with it. I mean, I might use some seasonal salt. That's, I mean, that's it. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, or something if like you're going to make a good steak, you got to you got to season it with salt before you make oh, it. Oh no, you don't you don't have to have salt. Of course you do. No. No, not really. You don't need you don't really need salt, but yeah. Some butter, some creoles, some pepper. Okay. Whatever else I can find in my cabinet that I like to experiment, try different things. So I'll mix stuff together not knowing, just see how it turns out. I do think you really should have salt on a steak. Yeah, if you, 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 do, you definitely have to. Hot take. You should I mean, you don't it. have to. I mean, it's still edible, but it's, just, it's not going to taste as good if you don't. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I mean, salt, salt. I mean, D, can... D4's had a steak I've cooked, uh, and I didn't add salt to it. He said it was pretty fucking good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you, it could be some sort of rub or mix or what. Obviously, yeah, you don't really have to have salt. Yeah, I've been doing that here lately. Is either rubs or marinades. But those usually have salt in them, of course. Yeah, there you go. And, and I, well, creole has got a little bit of salt to it. Right. Um, Dano's has got some salt to it. I'm just saying, I don't take a salt shaker and add salt to anything. Do you yeah. guys remember the days when you went to a fast food restaurant, like McDonald's or Burger King or whatever, Wendy's, whatever, whatever the case is? And uh, you went through the drive-thru and you ordered uh, whatever, cheeseburger and fries. And automatically in the bag was like multiple packets of ketchup. That doesn't exist anymore. The only way they're going to put ketchup in the bag is if you ask for it. Even if you ask for it, they're only going to give you like two, like enough ketchup for two fries. I remember when going to a McDonald's or Wendy's or something didn't cost 35 fucking dollars. Yeah. Does it cost thirty five dollars? I don't think so, but Five Guys probably does. I don't I don't know about that. Yeah, Five Guys definitely does. Uh, yes, you you go, you take a family of four to fucking McDonald's. It's gonna cost you thirty five dollars. It's gonna cost you more than that. Yeah, maybe thirty five. It is. I saw now. One. Hey, do you guys remember I mean, at, Subway, I, the, you know, at Subway? Do you remember five dollar footlongs? Yeah, those. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a thing of the fucking. Yeah, thing. now it's like a twelve dollar foot long. <laughs> Now it's six inches, six bucks. Six inches, a dollar an inch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I saw this thing on Twitter the other day, and, and I I meant to repost it just because how ridiculous it was. But somebody walked to McDonald's, and they had an ad up. It was like a 20-piece chicken nugget and two fries for 30 bucks. <laughs> so if you download the, the – Mrs. Pete does this. I don't eat McDonald's because I'm not nine, but my kids do. Um, if you download the McDonald's app, they have like they have these coupons on the app. She gets like a fifty or sixty piece chicken nugget for like six bucks. It's wow. like, it's ridiculously cheap. But if you just go in there and order off of the menu, it's going to cost you at least fifteen dollars per person. That's uh, yeah. Yeah. That's what happens when yeah. you jack up minimum wage and think, oh, all your problems are fixed. Here's more money. Yeah, I'll Subway is awful. Way. P. Digit says Subway is terrible. It is terrible. You know they they they, they, they classified that bread that they say they make is not even bread. Yeah, <laughs> it's not like plastic or something. <laughs> I mean, I end up eating Subway because of the bad options that there are on the road. That's probably the least bad. Right. When I, I do get something every eat. once in a while, if I'm traveling, I will stop at Subway and get the whatever the Italian sandwich. Uh, yeah, but and it, and it does taste amazing. I, I mean, I like well, see, it. I very but... rarely, I very rarely ever get a sandwich from there now. Like I'll stop and get their 
steak, egg, and cheese on flatbread. That thing's fucking good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, just get, I get the same thing every time. The Italian sandwich. And it tastes great, but an hour later, I feel like shit. You know. If it's bread, what is it? I don't know. It's not, cla- it? it's not even classified uh, by the FDA as food. Huh? It's not plastic. It's, not it's, it's got some Here, let's look it up. It's got something in it that's not natural. It's not bread. I mean, it's not what you, what you, what you would think bread is. Well, it's not. Well, I mean, fuck, everything oh, no. does. Have you, have you ever, like, I, I, I've gotten them, uh, that gelatin filler that they put in their fucking chicken at McDonald's. That's gross. Yeah, that is gross. Yes. So, so here's, here's the bread thing. It's not that it's not bread. It, Ireland's Supreme Court ruled that it's not bread because it has too much added sugar. Yeah, in 2020, Ireland's Supreme Court ruled that Subway's bread does not meet the legal definition of bread for tax purposes because of its high sugar content. Yeah, that's right. Uh, The court said that the bread contains 10% sugar, which is five times higher than the 2% maximum allowed in the 1972 Value Added Tax Act. (laughs) <laughs> in, in Ireland, of course, it's allowed in America. It's fucking that's the ten percent sugar in bread is the most American thing I've ever heard. Yeah, but Ireland. but but uh, but leave it to the fucking internet to hear. Oh, Subway's bread isn't bread. To, and, oh, no, it's fucking plastic and sawdust. Okay, okay cool. All right. Uh, the bread also contains sucrose and glucose, which are added before baking to make it sweeter. The caramelization of the extra sugar during the baking proce- process may also be why Subway bread smells different than other bread. I, did, I didn't notice that smell thing. Did you? No. Oh, I don't frequent bakeries enough to know regular bread from Subway bread. Oh. Uh. I mean, I... Saying that it isn't bread is a little bit. All right, so I mean, it has has bread type properties, but here's what I do know: bread with sugar. uh, They should at least be in trouble for false advertising, saying fresh baked bread. Because every time I go to Subway, the fucking you can knock somebody out with that piece of bread so hard. (laughs) (laughs) Use it as a weapon. It's like a baseball bat. A baguette. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I actually met a guy dumb enough to think that he moved up to Boston for some years. And he actually thought a hard roll was a hard piece of bread and wouldn't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bread Pit, <laughs> coincidentally, in the chat, uh, says <laughs> public subs are goaded. Yeah, they are good. Yes. Yeah, They're very good. Bread word. I wonder what kind of bread a uh, bread pit is. Yeah. Um. Well, he appears to be white, so I guess he's white bread. White bread. Yeah. 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 Wonder. Yeah, if he was mixed, he'd be wheat bread. Yeah. True. Yeah. Or, or, or maybe rye. <laughs> rye, true. <laughs> what, about, not what about? What about? Yeah. <laughs> What about pumpernickel? We were just going to say the same thing, damn it. You took it out. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely not. I was going to say he's definitely not pumpernickel. He's not pumpernickel. Uh, Riz Chat says it metabolizes as sugar. It's simple carb. And for the USA, simpleton sugars are preferred. Right. That's also why we're fat. There you yeah. go. Sourdough bread. Mm. Okay. That checks out. Mm. I prefer the term extra husky. Right, yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't mean to be uh, <laughs> I don't mean to be derogatory about it, but yeah. Uh, we we've entered the age where just nothing is real anymore. I mean, birds aren't real, pandas aren't real, bread's not bread. Not I mean, bread. <laughs> <laughs> like, chicken's got jello in it. I ain't never seen yeah. a chicken with jello in it. Yeah, j- yeah, chick jello chicken. <laughs> now, to be fair, I don't know what's going on with the chicken nuggets at McDonald's, but that can't be real chicken. I'm, 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 I'm you know what? What is that? You don't want to, dude. You don't want to look into that. There's a fucking. You don't want to know. I, I, I do want to know. Yeah, what? Uh, it's just like it's chicken, but they add in a bunch of added sugars and other starches and shit, and they make this like gloop. Yeah, if you've seen it, if you've seen it, you'll never eat a fucking McDonald's chicken nugget. No, see, see, I bet, I bet their chicken is like hot dogs, man. It's fucking. Yes. Yeah, right. there's chicken in it, 
but there's fucking pig snouts and horse hooves and it's like uh else. if you have you ever read the have you ever read the ingredients on a slim jim before no. no i'm not that brave it's it's got to be worse than whatever a hot dog is yeah it's fine it's uh it, it's not even this that that actually really is not real food i mean that that's not even a joke a slim jim all beef hot dogs yeah uh, because i go. know at least at least i'm getting the reject parts of the all cow yeah well if you get if you get the hebrew national then it's kosher right yeah yeah slim Slim Jim's, ready? Beef, pork, mechanically separated chicken. Now, what does that mean? Soy flour, corn syrup, salt, natural flavors, dextrose, paprika. Natural flavors. Paprika, hydrolyzed soy protein, maltodextrin, lactic acid, starter culture, barley malt extract, citric acid, soy less like something, and sodium, sodium nitrate. nitrate. You're looking at the exact same thing I'm looking at. Um, I have a question. What the fuck is mechanically separated chicken? Uh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> that chicken's getting torn apart by a fucking machine. I guess. That's what that means? What but why even say that? Yeah, why not? Why not just say I chicken? Awesome. They can't no 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 no. Hold on. Here you go. This is USDA <laughs> website. Ready? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Hold on. Holy uh, shit. P Digit says go. that Slim Jams are are pigs uh, lips and buttholes. <laughs> yeah. Mechan let me ready. Mechanically separated meat is a paste-like and batter-like meat product produced by forcing bones with attached edible meat under high pressure through a sieve or similar device to separate the bone from the edible meat tissue. Yeah, but my, my, my question is, why even say that? Why not just say chicken? Presumably the FDA, the FDA says this. you have to say that. Isn't yeah. all, does that mean that all boneless chicken is mechanically separated? There's no such thing as, have you ever seen a chicken before, Vic? Yes, I have. They have bones. There's no such thing as a boneless chicken. They have bones. No, I mean, yeah. boneless chicken meat. Boneless Bye. wings are adult chicken nuggets. Yeah, that's just, well, that's everybody knows that. Boneless Bye. wings are literally chicken nuggets. That's what they are, yeah. Yeah. And that's fine, and they're good, but... Yeah, they are good. I would just rather... I w personally, I'd rather have a regular wing, but that's just... Me. Yes, but I mean, I mean, at least when, like, every boneless wing I've ever had, when you tear it apart... The consistency actually looks like fucking chicken meat. Right. So I'll and that's give it that much credit. That. Right. That's the difference between that and mechanically separated chicken. That reminds me. When we were in Cherokee a couple of weeks ago, me, uh, Huffer Billy Paw, Mrs. Pete, and Uncle Lou went out to uh, to lunch one day at one of the restaurants there. It's like it, there's, they have like a bowling alley in there and an arcade, and there's a restaurant in there. Anyway, it was like the cheapest uh, lunch option. So we went there to eat, and it's a wing, it's a wing place, right? So we all order uh, wings. Like I think pretty much everybody at the table, maybe Mrs. Pete didn't. But anyway, we all ordered a bunch of wings. The waitress comes back five minutes later and goes, well, here's the thing about the, your wing order. She goes, we're, we're all out of flats. You know what flats are, right? Yeah. You get the drums and the flats. She goes, we're all, all out of flats, so it, you're, all you're going to get is drums. And I said, okay, well, I want to change my order then because I don't want that. So I, I ordered like a sandwich or something. <laughs> Then so but 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 Uncle Lou I think and uh, and and Huffer Billy Paul did not change their order. They said they were fine with eating the drums. Yeah, she, so then they bring out the they bring out the wings and there's fucking the flats in there. Stupid. I said holy. I said I thought you you told me that you were out of flats and then you bring them out to them. Uh -oh. They got my flats. <laughs> God damn it. Hashtag stop mistreating Pete. Yeah, that bitch lied. Flats, but there's flats. Anyway, you expect me to tip you after that? Yeah, I'm about to say, how good of a tip did she get after that? Uh, well, to her credit, I, I, I left my credit card on the table, and I didn't realize until about two hours later. I went back and got it, so she didn't steal my credit card, so there is that. There, there's, there you go. She gets credit for something that she didn't do. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that does remind me that I remember when me and my wife were dating, we went somewhere. I don't remember where it was. It might have been Joe's Crab Shack. I don't remember. But it, it was funny as hell. We're out on a date. The waitress is flirting with me the whole time. Uh oh. Not realizing my wife is paying for dinner. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, she didn't get a very good tip. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oops.
don't know. Hmm. Uh, they are running massage parlors here. What? Uh, oh, I was trying to get me to do a couple's massage with her. I'm like, that's just weird. Yeah. So that's not as bad as you think. Yeah, well, it's not I bad. I do like what you do when they're, when they're uh, flirting with you. Like, how do you tell that they're, like, flirting with you? It's just, it's pretty obvious. I mean, it's just one of those things you just know. The same way that you tell when any woman is flirting with you. Right? Yeah. Well, okay. Well. It's okay. not a. Maybe that's why. Really complicated thing. Yeah. Then, then, then I guess maybe that's why. But, yeah. But they do have to be a little bit more obvious because I think that a lot of people will read into people being nice to you because it's their job as flirting when they're actually not. So there's right. a higher threshold there. I think. Yeah, it's the whole thing. Like you know. Every guy thinks the stripper likes them. You know, they right. don't like you. Right. Oh, she likes your money. Yeah, she likes your money. Yeah, say, she, she likes you until your wallet runs out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it firsthand. You yeah, know, I've experienced that a time or two. A couple of buddies, and then, they, you know, they walk out of the strip club broke, and then, you know. And then they go home and crank one out. That's the way strip clubs work. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Unless you went to Platinum Plus in Memphis, yeah. Then you went home. Then you went home. All right. Yeah. But no, still I didn't find out money, first hand, sure. that, That's what they got shut down for. Mm. You went home all right, but you were still broke at the end of the night. Oh yeah, yeah, you're still broke. Yeah. <sighs> oh well. It's fine. Strip clubs are fun, but they are a waste of money, for sure. Yeah, well, you figure that out pretty quick, but I think everybody, yeah. I think you have to experience. That's one of those things you can't be told, you just have to learn for yourself. Yeah, I agree with that totally. Yeah. Well, you haven't really lived uh, in, unless you've been to a strip club at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Sure. Yeah. Oh. Now, with I'll say this <laughs> be cautious of the all you can eat lunch buffet at the strip club. Yeah, I'm not at eating at a strip club. Afternoon. Yeah, yeah, no, no eating it. T- titties and tater tots are not the best, best, best yeah. mix. Yeah. This is a true story. One time at this pl- uh, place I used to work at, this is probably back early 2000s. Uh, anyway, the, the work day got, uh, the, the weather was bad, so the work day got cut short. So our, so our boss at the time, there was a, a, a strip club like a couple of miles from our office, and it was right by the airport, which... <laughs> Yeah, well, it, it was a terrible strip club. Let's put it that way. It was in a bad part of town. He goes uh, to all of us. He goes, you know what? Let's t- let's take the rest of the day off and, and let's go to the, uh, I think it was called the landing strip <laughs> because it was right by the yeah. airport. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we go in there and it's literally like like noon, right? And uh, they're, 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 one of the girls was first of all the, the girls there in the afternoon are not that like that's not their best product if you know what i mean right not the uh, sisters, but, yeah. but she was completely shit-faced hammered at 12 o'clock like she had probably not been to bed all night right she's she's dancing at noon hammered she fucking shit herself <laughs> on the stage <laughs> oh, yeah. shit running down her leg <laughs> i said god damn that's that's the math. The said, do that. I oh, said it's time to get dude, the fire. I seen that. I, oh, good lord! I said it's time to go, bro. I've, <laughs> seen, I've seen some shit in the strip club, but I've never literally seen shit in yeah. the strip club. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. <laughs> I was, I was so mad, I almost asked for my money back. But then I said, you know what, fuck it. I'm just getting out of here. Yeah. Was she so out of it that she didn't even realize that she should Yo, yeah, she didn't even realize. Somebody, like, we were all looking at it and, like, we were looking at each other like, does anybody else see this? Because she had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and then eventually what happened, eventually what happened is one of the bouncers or whatever, one of the guys that worked there noticed it too. And he went and grabbed her and, like, you know, ushered her off the stage and took her back into the fucking locker room or whatever they got yeah. going on. 
Oh, you yeah, can't get your yeah. money back because you got shit all over it. Now. <laughs> I mean, I, I've been pretty drunk a time or two. I've mm. never been so drunk that I wouldn't have realized that I shit my pants. Yeah, man, come on. Well, she didn't have pants on. <laughs> well, whatever the fuck she had on. Yeah. I'm not sure oh. much. Yeah, just be glad you didn't pay for the lap dance that day, Pete. Yeah, thank God. Imagine she, you know how, you know how sometimes they come and sit on your lap and stuff and try to get you yeah. get. Imagine she's got shit all over. She comes and sits on your lap. <laughs> oh, oh, that's grody. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Things that make you go. <laughs> I got another funny strip club story. This one's not as funny as the woman shitting herself on stage, but uh, the, one of our buddies. Uh, it was getting married, right? So we had to, ba- they had like one of these uh, dual bachelor bachelorette party things, you know what I'm talking about? Which is stupid. Incredibly stupid. It's incredibly yeah. stupid. But anyway, they decided they wanted to do that. So w- what happened was all the guys went out and t- to the bar or whatever, and all the girls went out to a different bar. And then we eventually met up later at a strip club. Huh. And uh, so, here. so we, uh, we told the people at the strip club, we were like, hey, this guy's getting married. Uh, can you please embarrass him? No. So, so what they did was they brought all the strippers out on the stage. And they said, the, the guy's name's Shane. They said, Shane, uh, c- c- please come up to the stage. And I had no idea what they were going to do. So they bring him up on stage. They strip him. They take his clothes off. They strip him down to his, he's in his, he's in his underwear on the stage. Then they put a dog collar on him and a leash and make him get down on his hands and knees and bark (laughs) while they spanked him. (laughs) He was he was he was trotting around on his hands and knees, barking on the stage like a dog and they were spanking him. (laughs) Sounds like he was enjoying it. It was fucking great. (laughs) I'm not saying I'm not sure if I'd have played along with that. It was so funny. I guess we're just curmudgeons, Slim. We just don't I like guess that. I am. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd do that either. I guess so. They beat the shit out of him. It's insane. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you can't unsee that. Now every time I see the guy, I'm like, I, 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 that's the first yeah. like image that pops in my mind is like him getting that's spanked and barking problem, like a dog. Right? Yeah, that's the biggest problem. Yeah, yeah. you're you're that dude now. <laughs> that's who you are now. You might as well make it your fucking avatar on Facebook. You're, that's who you are now. Dude. <laughs> you're, you're like, no. And the funny part is, it, it is because it was a you know his 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 fiance was there watching this. Yeah. <laughs> How humiliating! Yeah. Yep. I mean, he was maybe he was leading her on to some sort of clue or something, dropping a hint, you know. Look, boy. Uh, okay. <laughs> there was people throwing money at him like he was a stripper. It was hilarious. Right. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, if I'm gonna make a few bucks, I might do it. I mean, twenty bucks, twenty bucks. <laughs> uh, I got a similar story, Pete, but they used our belts on him. I saw fear in his eyes once they realized what they weren't laying off. <laughs> Yeah. So, is there anything else that's not real that we need to look into? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Has Dabo figured out his username and password for the transfer portal yet? No. It's like I said, like like Jews don't celebrate Christmas, I don't celebrate the transfer portal. <laughs> right. Yeah, I posted a couple memes on uh, on Twitter about how depressed Clemson fans are right now watching everybody else pick up players. Yeah. Well, the good thing is that we're not losing anyone, so. Well, yet. Have we lost anyone? I don't think so, no. I don't think so. Well, then it's fine. If we don't lose anybody, I don't really give a shit. 
I well, mean, I got... some of ours I knew we were going to lose because we were like six or seven over the 85 limit. So, I mean, I knew we were going to lose six or seven right off the rip. Uh, the funny thing is, did you, get, uh, did did you, you see uh, Colorado lost their best player? Right. Imagine that. Saying, are you guys, is Miami going to get McLean now? Well, I say their best player. I guess maybe their best player is Travis Hunter, but whoever the next best player other than that is. Carmine McLean. Yeah, McLean. No, man, part of the, I guarantee part of the reason he's leaving is because Dion put him on blast this past season because he wasn't in the playbook learning it. He wasn't doing uh, – Dion went off on, about him. I'm like, I remember thinking that at the time when that, when that story was put out. I guess we dodged a bullet. It says USF and USC worth watching. I assume that's Southern Cal USC for to get him. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't think. I, I don't think Mario's looking into him. I know we're getting from the looks of it. We're probably gonna get that uh, Oregon State running back Martinez. Oh, he's good. Uh, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's really good. He's, he might be their best offensive player, actually. Yeah, I. Uh, I was having a conversation with somebody yesterday. I think we're gonna pick up. I think we're probably gonna lose ten, which, like I said, six or seven is to get us down to the limit. The other three, because they're gonna pick up a running back. I think they need to pick up another corner, just somebody with experience, uh, and a, and another uh, wide receiver. Huffer Billy Paul says Clemson doesn't doesn't need the transfer portal. Well, I don't know that we do right now. I, I, have you have you looked at your quarterback situation? Yes, you need the transfer portal. Quarterbacks. Why? I'm not going to pick up a transfer portal quarterback in April. That's just ne- – Dad will never do that. So. Yeah, he's not going to do it. You need one. Cade Clubfoot ain't him. You might be right. <laughs> yeah, but – According to the tw- uh, Twitter machine, uh, Pierman is he's the guy now. So you know, we probably ought to just start him. That's yeah, I saw him. that. I, after the spring game, I saw a lot of that on Twitter. Oh yeah, like Clemson fans. Clemson fans were going on how he could be, he could be our Stetson Bennett. Yes, yeah, Stetson Bennett, yeah. Hunter Renfro. I mean, all the all the every walk on that was ever good. It, that's what he is. Yeah, he could be. Yeah. Yeah, or he could he not be. be your, he could be your Tate Martell too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Possible. Right, yeah, no. That's not, that's not going to happen. Exactly. So it's a moot point because he's not, it's not happening. Cade Klubnik yeah. is starting, and uh, that's just all there is to it. Yeah. That's it. Right. That, that's kind of a gloomy outlook, sir. Yeah. Yep. It, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I mean, Cade Klubnik, Clemson's football team is actually good enough they don't need Cade Klubnick to be Trevor Lawrence or Deshaun Watson. No. They just need him not to fucking throw the ball to the other team constantly. That's all. Uh, uh, if I were if I were uh, uh, Garrett Riley and Dabo Swinney, I would hand the ball off to film off a 30 times a game until he gets hurt. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, I yeah, that's what's going to happen. You, last year. You, give him, you give him off of the ball 30 times a game, he's going to get hurt. Well, whatever. <clears throat> at least he's at least he's <laughs> the ball 35 times in a couple of games last year didn't well we? i was at the, the, the when shipley was out for the notre dame game i was at that game and that, of yeah. course that was the best game of his of his career i think he rushed for like 180 yards and three touchdowns or something it was ridiculous yeah. um now that's not sustainable over an entire season i get that but th- as much as you can keep the ball out of club nick's hands the better mm-hmm. right mm-hmm well, so. then you better do some direct snaps to Mappa then. So then yeah. you're... Because about half those fumbles were on the exchange between him and Shipley. Yeah. So maybe I'll just do do do, do more direct snaps. I'll do more uh, wild... Wildcat. Yeah, the, uh, the wild tater. Yeah, that's fine. The wild tater, wild, yeah. You know, wild tater. That's good, that's good, Vic. The wild tater. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> wild tiger. No, we need to uh, stop fumbling the ball on the one yard line. That was fucking insane. Yeah, how many times he did that last game. yeah well, I mean, if he would if he would have done what he was told to do instead of going rogue, that that wouldn't have happened. That's so y'all. Yeah, well, let, so okay, and, and if and if the replay officials knew how to do their job, Miami would have beat you in regulation and never would have went to overtime. Yeah, yeah, that's what uh, happened. We fumbled on the one yard line in that game. We did it in the Duke game. We did it in the fucking Florida State game. I mean, it just kept happening again and again and again. Insane. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, that's why I say he doesn't need to, he doesn't need to be the guy that takes the game over. He just needs to be the guy not to lose the game. There you go. And it's really not that hard. Now, I, I, I mean, will say this. I think it's a bad look on Dabo, the fact that you point out that he went rogue and then you didn't bench him. Well, of course, I was calling for him to be benched. I would have benched him immediately for at least one game. After the first time, he did it twice. Yeah, immediately. He did that same thing twice. I would have. What was the other game he did it in? Uh, Florida State. Okay. Yeah, in overtime. Yeah, again. <laughs> same difference. Yeah, but. Yeah, Double overtime. overtime. Yeah. So I would have benched him after that one, uh, and then he would have got the message, and it wouldn't happen again. Well, presumably it wouldn't have happened again. But right. if you just let it ride, then uh, like there's, if there's no punishment, and, and what kind of signal or message does that send to the rest of the team too? You can just you can just completely ignore what the coaches tell you to do on a, on, in a very critical part of the game, and you're not going to get punished for it. There you go. Right. I mean. I'm with you. I think that's a bad look. I listen. I, I defend Dabo. Mario just as much if it was him. I, I defend Dabo Sweeney as much as anybody else, right? But there, with, with shit like that, it, that that shit really does piss me off. There you go. There's just no excuse for it. But yeah. I mean, I guess, like, is, is the quarterback situation so dire that you can't even punish your starter who sucks because the, the guys behind him are worse? I, I, I don't know. That might be the case, yeah. Because oh. we know that Dabo has benched a quarterback before. Yeah. So that might be what it is, yeah. He's benched a lot of different players for way less than that. Yep. Way less. True. So... Yeah, it's a sad state of affairs, but, I, you know, he wasn't horrible last year. We just need him to be a little bit better than that. That's all. Maybe go a game without a turnover. That'd be nice. That'd be sick, man. Imagine that, dude. Well. I forgot that you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that goes back to my theory about running the ball. Run the ball, Paul. Yeah. Run the ball, Bobo. Yeah, totally. Isn't he well, there? And, see and, again? And, and I think your defense gave up more last year than it's given up in quite a few years. That's true, particularly in the back end, yeah. Yeah. I, think that, I think that they're going to be good. Our I know. I, I, no, I think, that the, the, first of all, the defense was put in a terrible situation. Totally, yeah. Well, they have been for three years. Yeah. Yeah, when DJ was there, too. You're right. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, that's, I got into an argument with a Clemson fan on, on Twitter, and you know, he was going on about all the guys being hurt in the wide receiver room, and I get that to a point. Mm -hmm. But your, your wide receiver room's been ass since 2020. Yeah. Yeah, and that's where you need the transfer portal for. That is where we need the transfer portal. That's correct. That and offensive line. Yep. We could use a little bit of depth on the defensive line, but we also have a lot of really good young players there. I mean, I don't think we need the portal on defense. No, I think the defense is going to be fine as long as they're not on the field for 40 minutes a game. I mean, no, I that's the problem. Really the secondary is going to be a lot better than it was last year. Yeah, the front seven might not quite be, but it's going to be pretty much in the same category. Yeah, the defense isn't the problem. No. Now, see, I, I have my questions about the secondary. I mean, you say the secondary is going to be better, but yeah. literally your best corner is gone. Right, but we just have a lot of depth and a lot of good. There are a lot of freshmen like Avion Terrell and Khalil Barnes. Yeah, those are those are those are those are great yeah. players. Now, I, yeah, I agree. The first the first string defense isn't a problem. It, the, the the depth at certain positions probably is. But I mean, we just had a lot of young players play really well, and they yeah. you make a big jump in, in positions like that from year one to year two. I'm not concerned about that. Well, nothing's really changed in the past three or four years. The problem is quarterback and offensive line. That's it. I mean, and I guess you could say receiver too, but I, I, even even that, I think uh, we we've got guys that 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 are good enough uh, to win a lot of games at receiver if you can get them the ball. But Klubnik can't seem to get them the ball. 
And that a lot, some of that has to do with him, and some of that, that has to do with the fact that the offensive line's fucking terrible. But. Oh. Uh, but having said all that, uh, well, we had this discussion on Monday, actually. Uh, having said all that, Cle- but if you look at Clemson's schedule, it, it do- outside of Georgia and f- maybe Florida State, it, like I don't really see any losses on there. Unless they just completely shit to bed like they did, did against Duke or something. I don't see any losses either. Yeah. And I and they and if, uh, I think you're underestimating. Well, I know you're. I know for a fact you're underestimating NC State because you hate the fucking Dave Dorn. No, I mean, of course I hate Dave Dorn, but I but I but I can still be objective about I, what 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 makes you think that NC State is so much better than Clemson? I don't understand that. Well, I'm not saying so. That, you don't have to be better than Clemson to beat you. That's totally right. Was Miami better to, than Clemson last yeah, we year? Lost no, to, I don't think so. We lost to three teams that were better than last year. That's for sure. Yeah, well, that, that's true. Including fucking NC I mean, State. I, yeah, and, and, and I don't chalk up South Carolina as, as just a W for you. Huh. That's, that's I do. Not, yeah. They're going to be a four-win yeah. team, uh, okay. Slim. Not, that was, that, not that was a little troll. Yeah, they, no, they, 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 outside of NC State, I know you don't agree with this, Pete, but, and I understand you're looking at their record, but you watch Virginia Tech, they got exponentially better as the season went on. Okay, yeah. so here's the thing. I'm, I'm, not claiming, I'm not claiming that Virginia Tech is not going to be better than they were last year and, and for the past, whatever, five or six years. I'm just not – there's people claiming that Virginia Tech is the team to beat in the ACC. I'm not buying into that. Well, okay. Well, I'm not I mean, that's just ridiculous. That I mean, I had a Clemson fan try and tell me Syracuse is a dark horse. What? The fuck what? <laughs> yeah. No. Well, he's a little silly. Well, you could clearly. say Virginia Tech is a dark horse to contend for, you know, a top three, a spot in the league. And I'd say, okay, I don't know if I agree with that, but maybe. Well, right. the whole the whole reasoning behind it is they go look at all the people they're returning. Yeah, from a bad team. So right. so you're returning a bunch of players from a bad team. Good job. I mean, like, I think I think they'll be better. I think they're a bowl team. I mean, Pete, I they, didn't they win like six of their last seven? Let's look. Twenty twenty three, Virginia Tech went seven and six. They won their bowl game in the military bowl. They were six and no, nah, they won five of their last seven, including the bowl game. Okay, I was off by a game. Uh, six, yeah, seven, I seven, mean, five, yeah. They, beat, they beat Wake, Syracuse, BC, Virginia, and Tulane. Hooray. I mean, as terrible as Clemson uh, season was last year, they won their last, what, six? Five or six? Five. 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 And then won their but bowl the, game. Yeah, maybe Virginia Tech will be better. Maybe we and, won't. And that was a team, like I said, throughout the season, you saw them get better. Right. And they're returning all of that. So I have but to assume that they're going to continue that until proven otherwise. Yeah, I would have to look at that. I'm gonna, I'll pull their schedule up uh, because that has a lot to do with it, too, I think. I don't know what their non-con games are. They and are, and I'm, not I'm not even saying y'all are necessarily going to lose to them, but you're like, no. who else? Uh, you know, you're, you're acting like you're just going to breeze through all your schedule except for maybe two games. And I'm just saying, no, I think you could lose to NC State. You could lose to Virginia Tech. Right, I think we could definitely beat Florida State. I don't think Florida Florida State's definitely not going to be as good as they were last year. I don't think they're going to be all that good at all. I think we should dude, win that dude. game. I, I've told some Clemson fans I'm friends with on Twitter, if y'all let DJ beat you, you, you better disappear from the internet. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. For, for a few days. So here's uh, the, here's their their non-con schedule is very favorable. <laughs> Yeah, they're actually their first their first four games are all non-con and you got Vanderbilt they'll probably beat them you got Marshall I don't know I don't, I don't I, I just don't know enough about Marshall to even have an opinion on that but uh Old Dominion and then Rutgers now they uh, so, lose uh, Marshall at- their, their schedule they definitely lose does any one of those games they lose they lose they lost to Old Dominion last time they played them on the road they lost to Rutgers last year yeah. They, beat they lost to Marshall last year. Right? Did they? Uh, 
They've got Miami in Miami. They, 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 they've they Marshall last year. You're right. They did fucking lose to Marshall last year. They have year. to travel to Stanford. That sucks. Yeah, that does suck. Uh, Boston College, Georgia Tech, Syracuse, Clemson, uh, Duke, and then Virginia to end the season. So it is a pretty favorable schedule, actually, for them, I think. But, Pete, you also said I'm delusional when I said uh, partially because of Miami schedule that I've got them making the ACC championship and probably winning it. I think winning it's a stretch. Making it isn't. I don't even think winning it's a stretch. I don't. Because just say for the sake of argument, okay, we face Clemson. Yeah. I'd say Clemson overall has the better defense. There may be a position or two where we'd be better. Sure. Miami would definitely have the better offense of the two. I mean, it depends. We'll see, I don't know. see what happens between them and them. Take it, you can win it, so. That would be an interesting matchup. I mean, there is a very good chance that that, that is the championship game, is, is yeah. Clemson and Miami. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. I don't even know what to make of Duke. I don't think they're going to be very good. Yeah, I don't either. First year, I, it just – kind of general rule of thumb for me first year of a coach is a wash whether it's good or bad they had the most they had the most, they had the most experienced veteran defense in the acc last year and they lost a lot i mean that not, not just their coach and their quarterback they, i mean they lost their, their almost their entire defense but yeah. manny's manny's a good d coordinator he's gonna have a good defense there yeah but but probably not as good as the last year's defense probably not but he did bring in uh, Malik Murphy out of Texas, so he's got him a, a good quarterback. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, when they come to Miami, we're going to call that the Cuban Bowl. Well, at least Clemson doesn't have to play Duke this year. <laughs> we do. Y'all playing Duke. Uh, Duke's y'all's script tonight, man. Shit. <laughs> I mean, I, I know, but they beat the piss out of you guys a couple of years ago. That was bad, bad. No, that was North Carolina. No, Duke beat y'all by like fucking twenty in, in, in Miami. It was, but it was so traumatizing. You forgot about it. <laughs> uh, fuck, may have been. Uh, yeah, I don't even remember 25, that. Five twenty-one at Hard Rock in twenty twenty-two. Yeah, dude. Twenty twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah. Two years ago. Anyways, I don't think Miami's going to lose to Duke by 24 at home again. So. No, I don't think so. It's a much okay. more talented team than it was then. Uh, do you guys th do you guys believe that uh, that uh, that Deion Sanders will be the head coach of Colorado in 2025? Uh, are you are you implying that he'll be he'll take a job at a bigger job? Well, where's he going? Well, going. I'm implying that they're not going to make a bowl game yet again. Right. And his son will uh, move on to the NFL, and so will Travis Hunter. Right. Uh, I, I guess both. I both of his sons are done this yeah, year. Yeah, both of his sons. So he won't have his he won't have his three best players, what's and he, he and he's not recruiting. And then what's he going to do? And also, I just don't see that Deion Sanders is going to stick around, uh, being as bad as they are. Yeah, so you think he's just going to quit? Well, he could either just quit or he might take a job somewhere else. Maybe he'll go to the NFL with his kids. I, I don't know. I don't know who in the NFL would, he, would, would, would hire him. On any staff in the NFL. Yeah, well, there's the, because, I don't think Jerry Jones is dumb enough to hire see, him. See, that's where you're wrong. There are, there are some people that in the NFL dumb enough to hire him because of who he is. The same reason that Colorado, he got the job at Colorado. He, he, he would get one in the NFL for the same reason. Yeah. But, not, not as a head coach. I'm, I'm, I don't think anybody would hire him as a head coach. As a positions coach. Maybe a positions coach or something, yeah. Defensive back or uh, maybe a coordinator even. I don't know. Safety's coach, yeah. Yeah, I can I'm see. Not sure. I'm not sure you can do that anymore. I mean, because pardon the pun, but he can't keep the ten toes down anymore. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have ten toes, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Nine toes down? <laughs> I think he's down to eight. Eight? Well, he lost another one? I think he's got eight to him. Him and Jay are having a competition. I thought he, I yeah. thought he was. But. 
That's a good question. Who has more toes, Dion or Jay? Jay, how many toes do you have? Because Jay lost. I think Dion's still in the lead of that, but he's doing his best. Yeah, I thought he got three toes to take it off. So now he's down to seven. Two or three, I can't remember. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing with a corners coach. You still got to be able to get out there and run on the field. Yes. Yeah. He can't. Dion can't do that. Well, I don't know. Can you get like I don't know, like prosthetic toes? And that and that you know yelling from your golf cart shit ain't gonna ain't gonna fucking work at uh in the NFL. Jay says he has seven toes. Not Dion. Jay does. It's so it's a tie then. A tie. No, Dion has eight toes. <laughs> Speaking of Colorado, somebody posted a clip of it. Apparently, Cremonti McLean went into a Twitter space with a bunch of Colorado fans. They were cussing this man up one side and down the other. Why did he do that? I don't know. Probably just to stir the fucking pot. Yeah. Looking for a Why else would you do it? Yeah, he was looking for a tent. Yeah. Hmm. Well, and that kind of shit's why I don't want Cromartie McLean to come to Miami. We dodged a bullet on that one. Yeah, I Fuck think the Gus found, Bus can have you. I think he found what he was looking for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter space. <laughs> well. It looks like Chase Hunter is going pro. Um, yeah. Although it, he's entered his name in the NBA draft, that doesn't mean that he, he can pull out if he doesn't get what he wants. And we've landed a basketball transfer from Cincinnati. Chase Hunter, yeah, I don't, I don't know who that is. He's the starting point guard on the basketball team. Yeah, for Clemson. Oh, okay. That's why I don't know if it's basketball. That's why we I got a, a center from Russia transferring from Cincinnati. Russia. He's Russian. He's probably good then. I don't know. I mean, I'll take it. The uh, Bulgarian and the uh, like. Uh... I just assume that every seven foot Russian is good at basketball. I don't know though. Yes, sir. Knows it what a uh, what a uh, yo kick is from. Uh... They just tell him to play like Zach Eady and just draw fouls all night. Yeah. Serbia. Yeah, it's, it's the Yugoslavia, the former Yugoslav republics. The, you got the Serbs and like Jokic and the Slovenians, like Luka and guys like that. Yeah, Eastern European and that. You know, you got all the Croatians, Kukoc and Kazakhstan. Uh, um, uh, uh, Divac is Serbian, I think. And then you had Petrovic, who I think is Croatian, was. Anyways, yeah. You've had, a good, you've had a couple of good fighters come out of uh, Kazakhstan. Uh, I think that's where Khabib's from, and that's where right. uh, Golovkin is from. Yeah, I just call all those people Russian. Well, Kazakhstan's <laughs> totally different. I know it's a different country. I just call them Russian anyway. It's the same difference. Different. Yeah, listen, <laughs> it's, it's one of those countries that broke off after after the USSR collapsed. Right. Yeah, it yeah. was Russian. But the, the, the Yugoslav republics were never part of the USSR. Oh, no, they weren't. But Anyways, but I get your point. Yeah, they weren't. Whole Eastern Bloc in that. Right. Right. Uh, Eastern yeah, European women are hot, though. True. Yeah. That's for sure. I believe, as Andrew Schultz called them, the scary whites. The scary whites? <laughs> so are Swedish women. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's famously so. Yeah, dude. I don't know. For some reason, the women are like from the Czech Republic, like like yeah. like the ugliest girl in the Czech Republic is like the hottest girl in America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. 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 Good genes, I guess. I think Sweden even more so, but yeah. But, but yeah, but that's a very homogenous country, like. They don't let people no. from the outside come in and stay. Well, they do now. Isn't that where, uh, what's-his-face is from? Mike Saha? 
Yeah, he's from. I have no clue. Yeah, he's Swedish. Yeah. Yeah. Melania Trump. Where's she from? She's from Slovenia. Yeah. That sounds yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Am I taking Mrs. Pete to the Virginia Tech game? Uh, well, that game is in Blacksburg, I think, right? It is. Yeah. Yes. I'd like to go to a game there. Well, I did. It's I cool. did. The last well, time they played there, I, w I went there. It was 2011, I think. That was. We played there since. We played there a couple. We played them in the COVID year there. Um, and we played oh, yeah. them one time, I think, after that there, too. 2011 was the Mike Bellamy year where we beat their ass. It was like 34 to 17 or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Taj Boyd. I, um, uh, who was it? Andre Ellington, I think. It, well, we had Mike Bellamy in his only year at Clemson. He scored a touchdown. Yeah. And yeah, uh, did we still have Ellington then? Uh, Ellington. Maybe, or was it McDowell? Let me look. Yeah, I can't remember either. <clears throat> Uh, it's a cool place, though. Yeah, it's all right. I like Blacksburg. Okay. It's now, the weather the weather was terrible when I was there. It was like 35 degrees and, like, raining. Like, light rain the whole time. It was, it was miserable. But Yeah, it's cool. It's not Clemson or anything, but it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I mean, I, I, think the, I think the campus is pretty. Have you ever been there before? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I went there in 06 when we okay. lost on Thursday. We were ranked like 10th. We had just beaten. Oh, that was never we beat the hell out of Georgia Tech on game day. And the next game was that game and we got blown yeah. out. I wasn't overly impressed with the stadium itself. Yeah, I mean, the not, intro, it, the Into the Sandman cool. thing is cool and all that. But the stadium itself is not really that impressive. I, I, I feel like it gets. I don't know. I wasn't impressed by it. Right. No. So we played him on the road in 2011. And then. We played him in the AC title game again the same year. Played him at home the next year. Played him in the AC title game after that. We played it on the road in 2017. I remember that was Kelly Bryant, and and we beat them then. Oh, all right. And the last last time we played him was the COVID year on the road and blew him out. Oh, they were awful that year. Yeah, we've won six straight over them. Yeah. And prior to 2011, I think we lost like six straight to them. Five, yeah. Yeah. You know, pre-Dabo. Yeah, yeah, Bowden lost to him. Yeah. Five times. No, Tommy West was the last one. Bowden lost to him. But, they were, at, but they were pretty good then. They were, yeah. I mean, I remember my, when I was in school, we lost to him twice. Neither game was particularly close, and they were both not. It was not good. Yeah. I remember was, the one at home was at night. Ball was still in full effect. Yeah, it was the late stage Beamer Ball. It wasn't like the late ninety. It wasn't like the Michael Vick Beamer Ball teams, but they were still pretty good. This was what like the, Sean, the, the the Mike Glennon teams. The Marcus Vick. Yeah, after that, it was like the Mike Glennon years. Oh, okay. Maybe pre Tyrod Taylor, but post Marcus Vick. Yeah, yeah. I remember the the best the thing I remember from the game we lost at home was that we were at the in the student section, of course, at Clemson, and it was a night game. And we're all rowdy and everything. And they ended up getting a pick six and a kickoff return for a touchdown in the second quarter. So we're down by like 20-something at the half. And some idiot, a Clemson student, let their friend, who is a Virginia Tech student, come sit in our student section with us. And we're like, we were like, like row A. I was in the front row. Like we were like the rowdiest of the rowdy of the student section, right? And this idiot, I don't know who it was, let his Virginia Tech fan friend, student too, come sit there and, and watch the game with us. And they're blowing us out. And after they score their fourth touchdown in the first half, we picked his ass up and chucked him on the field. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we picked his ass. It was like six of us. We picked because he was celebrating and shit after we got scored on again. We picked his ass up and chucked him on the field. And then they uh, they kicked him out of the game, I guess. They what kicked him out of the game because you threw him on the field? I think so, yeah. Damn, that's... Do shit to us. That's dirty. He deserved it. That is, pretty, that is pretty fucked up. Fuck that. Don't come in our student section and start cheering in our face when we're losing at home in a the night game. Clemson fan, let, uh, Clemson student, let him in the student. Yeah. He chucked his ass on the field, too. Be, fu be fucking neighborly, assholes. Nah, fuck that. Get out of here. I'm not, I'm not here for that, dude. No. 
I go. I went to a lot. I've been to a lot, a lot, a lot of away college road games in college football, but I never fucking tried to sit in the other team's student section. <laughs> now, guess what? Next time Miami plays Clemson and Clemson, I'm going to go sit in the student section and cheer when we blow you all off the field. Yeah, well, they might have trouble checking you on the field. That's true. Oh, yeah. They'll have a lot of fucking trouble. <laughs> you found the right one today, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about I don't know about the students. I I've never sat in a student section because I wasn't a student. Actually, you know what? I think I maybe I did one time when Mrs. Pete was there. I can't remember. Uh, but a couple years ago, Slim came to a Clemson game with me in Clemson. Yeah, yeah, he had a good time. I think. Oh yeah. That's fun. I mean, an, escal uh, an escalator would have been nice, but. I tried to warn you. Yeah, we had nosebleed seats, and I, I told him before we went in there. First of all, I fucked with him. Uh, it, him and Traveling Fools both came, <clears throat> and right. some of uh, some of Slim's family. Like we, we, that was your uncle, wasn't it? Yeah. So you know how the, there's the, the the two entrances uh, uh, to the stadium, and then there's the hill on the left side, on the south side of the stadium, where the you know where the graveyard is. So instead of just taking, we had we had seats on the visitor side on the north end of the stadium. Instead of just north. instead of just walking into the north end entrance and going to our seats, I took them all the way around the stadium and made them walk up that hill and go all the way around the stadium. Yeah, <laughs> so by the time we got to the, to uh, you know to the to the breezeway where you go up to to get to to your seats, they were already wore out. <laughs> Then they had to climb up 50 fucking flights of stairs uh, to get to the seat. 73 steps, I counted them. <laughs> yeah, dude, it, the thing is, it is a hike. It's a good view, though. The, the view in the upper deck at Death Valley is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because, like, I, I've, done, I've done, you know, like, first, second, third row. And, I mean, uh, at some places, you can't see shit from there. Right, yeah. Uh, but just walking up that hill on the south side of the stadium is will wear you out. I mean, it's it's like straight up. Yeah. Well, don't forget, Humphrey Billy Paul decided to park two miles from the fucking stadium. Yeah. So I had that two mile. We had that two mile hike into, uh, just to get in there. Yeah. Why did he do that? Because he's a fucking numbskull. And that's why. <laughs> that's all right. We made him go back by himself and get the damn car. Yeah. I think after the game, we were all sitting there at Esso getting something to eat, watching. Uh, we watched Ohio State almost lose to Maryland because that was the same thing. Yeah. Right. And then uh, uh, we sat there, I think, watched like the first half of the Tennessee South Carolina game. That, that, that was the game where uh, Hayden Hooker got hurt. And South uh, Carolina yeah. ended up dropping like 60 on Tennessee. Right. Yeah, we got lucky. I don't even remember how we got a table in there because we had like 10 people. Maybe not 10. How many people were there? About eight, maybe? Whatever uh, it was. Two, four, seven. We walked right in there, and as soon as we walked in, these people were getting up, and we just took, we got a table immediately. Yeah. Which anybody who knows anything about the SO Club on game day, it's not easy to get a table in there. It's, it's a tiny place. Yeah, it's not big. Yeah. Yeah, he says, uh, I'm a, a sore, lo sore loser. Well, I am a sore loser, first of all. And secondly, when I was 19, I was definitely a sore fucking loser. Uh, what Clemson game am I going to this year? I don't, you know what? I don't even know yet. And I probably won't even know until the season starts. Um, Dude, I don't even know if I'm going to Gainesville like I was planning on. Hmm. I was talking to T2I the other day. The cheapest tickets on StubHub right now are two hundred dollars. Well, I thought you were going to the Georgia Tech game. That's the one I was going to take the family to. Yeah, and uh, Fool and Fools was going to go me, with you too, wasn't he? Me traveling, Fools, uh, Pinecone, and supposedly Pinecone, old fish and uh, fish and football were all going to go to the uh, Florida game. Well, fish and football's not going, but Pinecone, he said he was going. Uh, we, we were talking about it, but he's not sure either. Not with damn two hundred dollar ticket prices. Yeah. And that's that's the cheapest seats available. I'll tell you what, <clears throat> I'd consider going with you guys to that. 
I've never been, I'm sure you have, Volusia. I've never been to a game in Bobby Dodd before. Ever. Well, are you, is he talking about the, the Florida game or the Georgia Tech game? Georgia Tech game. Uh, uh, yeah, I was going to, because the kids haven't been, I've taken the kids to a Tampa game. I haven't taken them to a Miami game yet. I mean, I've been to Bobby Dodd a few times. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's old, but it's all right. Like you're in. I would imagine probably Sea Dog and Rec Talk will probably go to that game. I think Rec Talk has season tickets. I think you're right. Yeah. He goes to every game, I think, or most of them. Yeah, I was, I was talking about taking the family to that one, and uh, uh, both Rec and Sea Dog said something about going. If all of you guys get together and go, I might consider meeting y'all up there and going just because I've never been there before. Yeah, I haven't been there either. But I'm not paying. I, but I, but if, if the tickets are two hundred dollars, I'm not going. I tell you that right now. Because I think he was saying the tickets for the Florida game are two hundred. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, why would Georgia Tech and Miami be two hundred dollars? It would. Yeah, no, it was the, it was the Miami Florida game, the cheapest ones right now, are two hundred bucks. Because the problem with Atlanta, and one of the reasons I haven't been to a game there, is because yet whatever the ticket prices are, what they are, but staying in Atlanta is expensive. Yeah, I mean, unless you stay at you know, fucking Motel Six, which I'm not doing that. Yeah. I mean, so. I wouldn't either. But like coming from, you know, Memphis, you've got Douglasville before you hit Atlanta. Like I, I and that's thirty minutes from there to the stadium. So you, you, I guarantee you could stay there cheaper than actually staying in Atlanta. Right. And it's not like a Georgia Tech game is going to jack up hotel prices in the area or anything. No, like but they're just expensive it, 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 in any way. I mean. Right. Yeah. That's why I yeah, said I mean, stay 30 minutes. I mean, you stay a half hour from there, you pay a better, better hotel price. And, you know, what's a 30-minute drive into the game? And now we yeah. don't play them this year, which is insane, but true. Yeah, Sea Dog's not happy about that. Well, I'm Georgia Tech got sure. shafted. They don't have it. They're, they're, are they the only team that doesn't have a, a, a single team that they play every year? <laughs> yeah, but their but their athletic director agreed to that. Yeah, I know. Are they there really? might be one more, but I are think they, they might be the only one. Yeah, I find it hard to believe they would be the only team. Well, it it's, it's I think it might like, be like North Carolina's got like three. Yeah, North see. there's there's several well, teams that have three. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm not mad about it. I know there's a lot of people that consider the Georgia Tech and Clemson rivalry to be, to be something that's important to me it's not. And that's yeah. probably just because I didn't go to school there. Um, for instance, my brother, he's four years older than me, so he went to Clemson in the, uh, well, from 90, what was it, 96 to 99 or 2000 or whatever it was. Um, he's, he was an engineer major, so to him, it was a big deal because it was the battle of the engineering schools. But Yeah, I mean, first of all, that was a rough time to be a, yeah, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, Georgia Tech is the only one with no permit. Oh, Louisville as well. Georgia Tech and Louisville both have no permanent rivalry. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Well, I don't care about Georgia Tech game. A lot of people do. A lot of Clemson fans do. You probably do. I do, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I just don't care. Yeah. My only, my only complaint is they didn't they didn't keep give us Virginia Tech every year too. Like they did, like Florida State, did. Virginia Tech, and then whoever. They did. No, some they did. You guys have Virginia Tech and Florida State every year. Uh, then they must have. Okay. Well, see, I haven't looked it up since they changed it. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Because they had well, it set, and then they had to change it again. Yeah, you guys have Virginia Tech and Florida State every year. Our only one is Florida State. Y'all have both those two. Yeah, because we had, like, Florida State, Boston College, Louisville, I think were the three. I wonder yeah, if I, I wonder how much Rec Talk pays for season tickets. It can't, <laughs> can't be much, you say? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's part of Miami's problem. It's like, I, you know, I get y'all are wanting to make as much money as you can off of tickets, but, you know, people, I mean, you'd have to pay. I remember looking up a game in Miami. Fucking nosebleeds were like $170. Now, how is that possible? Nobody, weren't they giving away tickets last year? 
Well, I go to the Clemson spring game every year, and this year they were pushing season tickets hard, harder than I've ever seen them push it before. Really? Oh, yeah. And, and part of their 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 uh, their sort of advertising or their pitch or whatever is uh, they you know how when you buy season tickets, I, I, I know this is true at Clemson. I think it's probably true at a lot of other places. You get the seat backs. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they that, now they have new seat backs. <laughs> they had this. Oh, wow. Yeah. More comfortable, I guess. I don't know. Well, I think that a lot of, and I don't know if this is true at Clemson, but at a lot of places, in-game attendance is dropping because people just can watch it at home. They'd rather do that. Well, that and the, the I'm assuming that the, uh, the I, I'd, I've never had season tickets to Clemson before, but I'm assuming they go up every year just like everything else does. And so yes. now the fact that it, they're pricing the majority of their season, their normal season ticket holders out of uh, being able to afford it, they go, right. well, yeah, you're paying more, but you get a better seat now. That's part of their deal. Well, it's still a shitty seat compared to that stadium seating in Hard Rock. I mean, my thing is, living so far from Miami, you know, instead of having season tickets, to me it just makes more sense to go to away games and be able to see other stadiums. Yeah, sure. It's, away games are fun. Yeah, they are. It's always fun to be the hated one in the stadium instead of the, you know, yeah. the home one. Yeah, home cool. fans. Especially when you're that. winning. Especially when you're winning. That first ticket I ever paid for myself was to go watch uh, Miami wax the shit out of Wake Forest. Yeah. Like, I've been to, I've been to uh, several games in Columbia, you know, the Gamecocks, but never when they played Clemson. I won't step foot on that campus if, if Clemson's playing there. I just won't do it. Now, when I was younger, was I fun. might would have done it. Uh, oh, it's uh, fun. I, I went to, it, I've been there twice to watch us beat them. It's fun as fuck. Yeah, I'm about to say, Rooster Man wants me to uh, come to Columbia when uh, Miami plays South Carolina. I, I guess. 27 or 28, something like that. I guess maybe I would go if I was going with somebody like Rooster Man. Uh, you know, a Gamecock fan, but I wouldn't just go on my own. Oh, it's fun, dude. I guess when I went, I was a student, so I went with a bunch of other students, so it was fine, but, yeah. Right. I mean, I've already made you a de facto Miami fan, so, I mean, you're repping the gear. I'm just not, I'm just not getting, uh, I'm trying to get arrested. Uh, right. One of those, one of those little punk college kids fucks with me, then I'll end up in handcuffs. I know it. I know I will. Yeah, uh, yeah. Especially if you've had a few uh, cans of courage in you. Right. I don't even need that. Oh. Well, well, your self control is lesser. Well, yeah, it, it went from zero to negative two. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. Yeah, the second time I went, I almost got arrested because I that was when we hit the game winning field goal with Mark Buckles, if you remember that game. And uh a guy was giving me shit and I cussed him out right in front of a state trooper. And uh yeah, he wasn't happy about that. I, the only real complaint I had about Clemson is like supposedly they were gonna make us go outside to smoke, which I wasn't doing that. Yeah, you can't smoke in there. Well, you're not supposed to. But you can leave the stadium and come back in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just leave at halftime and have one. Yeah. A lot of people do that. They go at halftime and go out and drink a couple of beers and then come back right, in. Yeah. Right. We went down there at concessionary and I found me a nice little little corner to hide off in. Yeah, yeah. You can do that too in some places and it's big enough. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but they don't sell alcohol there. That's that's the reason they allow people to leave at halftime. I think I think that's the reason. I don't really know the reason why, but uh, they. Yeah, that makes sense. Not. Should, you know, why shouldn't you be allowed to go get something from your car at halftime? I mean, I understand the not selling alcohol part. I get that. Yeah. I mean, because I mean, think about it. Do you want them? Do you want them selling beer in Bryant Denny Stadium every Saturday? Yeah. Well, they do, don't they? I don't think so. They sell it at Georgia now, don't they, Vic? 
Well, you have to be like a certain like. Yeah, but I, yeah, I know that you had to be like a like a donor. But I, didn't they just make it for everybody now this year? This is this will be the first year, I think. I don't know. And even then, it wasn't beer they were selling. They were they were only selling wine. It was, I thought it was both. I think it was beer. Well, it might have been. I don't even care. Like, first of all, Clemson's not going to, as long as Dabo's there, for sure, they're not selling alcohol in the stadium. At Georgia, you can this year. No, I don't see why Dabo would have any say so over that. I don't well, he, does. he doesn't. It's the Board of Trustees, but it, it, it's, it comes up every year for vote, and every year it's been unanimous. There hasn't been one single person on the Board of Trustees that's voted yes for it. So it's just not going to happen. And I don't even care. I drink and I don't care. Right. You know. Yeah, Georgia Georgia will start selling beer to everyone this year at their games. Yeah. Yeah, they were only doing it for like certain level season ticket yeah. holders. Yeah, you had to like donate like ten thousand dollars and then yeah, and they would give you the I privilege mean, the I'm privilege of paying twenty dollars for a beer if you donate ten thousand dollars. <laughs> right. I don't raise fucking holy hell over that. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Ridiculous. Yeah. It's like, no, you, you pitiful peasants can't drink alcohol here, but right. you know, the elites can. Dabo had an alcoholic dad. Yeah, we know the whole story. But I, I, I'm not so sure that it really has anything to do with Dabo, but I do think that he does have at least some sort of influence over that, you know, that whole thing. I, I know he doesn't have a vote on it. Oh, surely but, not. You know, the whole family atmosphere thing and all that, but... Uh, which is Some fucking family. silly because, I mean, everybody is getting hammered in the parking lot outside the stadium. I don't really know what the difference is. There isn't one. There isn't one. Did y'all see that video I uploaded from the spring game? No. <laughs> so you did, no, every school yeah. does this. They had the Tiger Walk, right? So an hour and a half before the game, all the, all the players get off the bus and they walk into the stadium. And then, you know, you line up and you cheer them on and blah, 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 cheerleaders and everything else. Well, Dabo comes down to lead the team on the Tiger Walk. Talk about, <laughs> you know, the, the the shaking hands and kissing babies thing you know, with yeah. politicians. He he was straight. I mean, he looked like he was running for president. <laughs> People were handing their babies to Dabo, and he's and he's taking pictures with these babies. I'm not kidding. I got it on video. That's a lot. Like okay. it was a little. It was a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. No. <laughs> I was like, like I, I mean, I love Dabo life. too. I'm not handing him my fucking baby. Yeah. That's not happening. I wouldn't put that no. pressure on him, dude. There was I a, wouldn't just hand one of my kids to Mario Christmas. There was he, he. He took pictures with at least three babies. <laughs> at least three. It's a lot, dude. It's a lot. <laughs> uh, Pete Junior Junior or repeat. Uh, he got a handshake from Dabo, though. He was excited about that. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Is he vowed to never wash that hand again? No, he, I don't think he cared that much. Uh, he got a handshake from Dabo and from uh, Garrett Riley, actually. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I need. I'm curious to see what Garrett's gonna do with what we've got this year. Garrett's gonna do the same thing he did last year: run the Clemson offense. Yeah, yeah but right. He, you know what I mean? I mean, I I don't know. Like th this is seriously confusing to me. I don't know what y'all expect. Dabo said it clear as day: we're not running the Garrett Riley offense. We're running the Clemson offense. I mean, yeah. Although, to Her be man, fair, that's what he said, he said right. the same thing uh, a lot of shit, dude. with the last three offensive coordinators. Yeah, he says a lot of shit that he says because it's a platitude. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if you've noticed, Dabo's got a lot of platitudes. Yeah. So. Well, he, well, yes, but to your point of he said it for the last three, I mean, outside of less skilled players, what's the difference between now and the last three? Offense well, there's definitely a, there's definitely a change in the in the philosophy of the offense. The problem is they're just not executing it the way that they should. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, 
That's what I'm saying. I'm curious to see how it goes. Now, one thing will never change as long as Dabo's there as far as the offense is concerned, and they're going to run the quarterback. You, you, you could put so, you, you could have a guy who has no ability to run at all. They, they're they're going to run him 12 times a game. Yeah. De- a designed run, I mean, not scrambling. But, and, and I've had these arguments with Miami fans that, you know, even with Cam Ward there, it doesn't matter who you get. You're not, they're not going to run a, a straight-up air raid offense with Mario Cristobal as the head coach. They're going to have yes. a balanced attack. Mario likes to dominate on the lines of scrimmage. Yeah, he's an off- He's a former offensive lineman, of course. Now, I don't have a problem with that because I actually prefer a balanced attack. I mean, they were somewhere yeah. like, you know, 58-42, you know, pass to run. I'm all right with that. That's balanced enough. Yeah. They're going to run the ball with the quarterback 12 times a game minimum, and they're going to throw the ball behind the line of scrimmage 50% of its passes. That's what they're going to do. Yeah, that's something that both – and Dabo's not the only one guilty. I know. That, that's does that a lot. Yeah, yeah, well, a lot of coaches. I mean, it's it's a it's an epidemic, honestly. Well, and, I, and I understand why they do it. Players, if you've got the skill players and you've got down receivers who are willing field. to block, it works out. We just don't have receivers who can block. <laughs> Well, I mean, what's up with, I mean, are we now to a generation of offensive coordinators that all grew up on Madden and are going for it on fourth down on their own side of the fucking field? Uh, yes, but they also, I mean, analytics, man. Yeah. Like, I mean, I mean to, if we're being honest about that, we only complain about it the times it doesn't work. When it does work, we forget about it. Yeah, okay, no. and, and, and a lot of people point to these analytics guys. How many analytics guys have won championships? That would be uh, done. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Is yeah, that true? Yeah, Manning go, uh, does that a lot going for him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Matt, Matt LaFleur was an analytics guy, and the analytics told him, take the ball out of Aaron Rodgers' hands down eight with four minutes left in the game. So why, would you take, why would you take the ball out of Aaron Rodgers' hands? Because that's what analytics said. So and because of that, Tampa went to the fucking Super Bowl. Okay. Was it the analytics that said not to hand the ball to Marshawn Lynch on the one yard line in the Super Bowl that year? I don't know what. Why Pete Carroll did that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if Pete, like, if Pete Carroll, you know, as offenses evolved, he decided to get into the analytical side of it. No. He retired, like didn't he? Coach. Yeah, he retired. But well, fuck, he's he's like eighty. I mean, he's as old as he's as old as Saban, if not a little older. Yeah, he's not eighty, but he's old. You're right. He's older than Saban. Is he? Oh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Now the guy looks amazing for his age. That's that might be the the reason you don't think he's that old. But let's see here. Uh, Pete Carroll is where is it here? He's seventy-two. So I guess yeah. eh, well, how old is Saban? Seventy. Same age as Saban. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, Saban's seventy-two. Oh. Yeah, for some reason I thought he was older than that. Okay. Uh, e- now, even Ryan, even Ryan Day would look a lot older if he didn't uh, use all that just for him. Yeah. Ryan Day looks like he hasn't slept in a year. <laughs> I mean, the guy looks like he's just, you know, constantly tired, like a vampire. I don't know, listening to Ohio State fans on Twitter, man, they may run him out of town if he don't win a natty this year. That'd be hilarious. I hope they do that. Run so him cool. out of town. Like, and that yeah. just baffles my mind that you're going to run a guy out that has never one less than 11 games in yeah what's his yeah. record at ohio state it's like it's yeah i don't game. think th- i don't i think that you're you're just seeing the worst part of the fan base on the internet i don't think anybody's looking for him to get Dude, fired he's not he's not on the hot true. seat let's put it that way there's no way Dude, that that is that is literally a job guys have been fired for ohio state for losing to michigan three years in a row yeah, yeah. 
Well, seriously, dude. Like he's fifty six and eight at Ohio State, and I would say that if he loses to Michigan again this year, they might fire him. I don't think so. Okay. I, now, if he goes seven and five and loses to Michigan and it, like all that together, maybe, but not just losing to Michigan on, on its own, I don't think so. Yeah, there, there's no reason. I mean, I, I think I think he could survive losing one more year to Michigan, but he would have to win a national title. I don't think you have to worry about it. I think Michigan's going to be fucking terrible. Not terrible like it's, you know, like six and six terrible, but I, I, there's going to be a huge drop off from Michigan from last year to this year. Yes, there should I think be it's no be reason. 10 and 2. 10 and 2. I can see it. 9 and 3, well, more likely. But. Now, I've been, okay, I've been okay, picking. I mean, uh, Nate brought this up on, on Monday's show. He said, Pete, you've been picking Ohio State to beat Michigan every year for the past four years. And I, I go, well, I'm going to pick them again this year, too, and eventually I'll be right. Right. And so, uh, yeah, give me Ohio State. They're going to beat the shit out of Michigan this year. I promise. Yeah, it's kind of like those uh, those Tennessee fans that keep screaming 15-0 and 0 every year. Eventually, right. they'll, they'll get it right. Eventually. Uh, that one, I don't know, man. I mean, eventually the, there's going to be a heat death of the universe, and so eventually is... Long yeah, eventually it'll happen. Eventually. It's like the people that always think that every year the world's going to end. Well, eventually they're going to be right. This is true. Yeah. Yeah. So. And hopefully we're not here to see it. Yeah, that would suck. That would not be great, no. What are you gonna do about it? Stick your head between your legs, kiss your ass goodbye. Hmm. Now, I know a lot of people were high on Ole Miss, too, but I, I have to question how good Ole Miss is gonna be after watching Field Day. <laughs> Yeah, what was that? That was weird. Because I, I didn't hear about that till afterwards, and then I, I found it, went back and watched it. Like, what the fuck yeah, are they doing? Field day. Mm-hmm. Field day. <laughs> I mean, they had like one quarter of seven on seven. Yeah. And then fucking tug of war and a dunk contest and <laughs> a hot dog eating contest. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah, I thought in contest with Joey Chestnut. Yeah. 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 And listen, I've been to Oxford, man. There, I mean, there's some weird cats running around there, no doubt. Have they always done that, or is that a Lane Kiffin thing? I I don't know. Yeah. Does anybody in the chat know? Joey Chestnut was an Ole Miss fan. Now, apparently the whole story behind Miami doing their uh, doing their spring game on the soccer field is uh, when Mario was there, they did the spring game on campus, and he wants to get back to doing that. Where? At one, one of the soccer fields. Oh. That's where, they did it, that's where they did it before on campus. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense because, I mean, every spring game, no matter which team you are, you're only going to get what, maybe 20,000 people at the most to show up. So why would you even bother trekking to fucking Hard Rock for, you know, five people? Yeah. It just doesn't or make any back sense. Back his day, trek over to the Orange Bowl. Right. I mean, I got nothing against it. That's, you know, that's how they did it in his day, and he wants to bring that back. I were doing. I mean, I'm probably... I'm, I may go to a spring game at some point, but it's not like I'm, it's going to be something I would attend yearly. That was another thing that happened at the spring game is they gave uh, a Dabo uh, uh, an award before the game yeah. for being the winning, winningest coach in Clemson history. They gave him a plaque. Sure. You know, you got a standing ovation. Well, like- once they, once they give him his doorstop back out of, out of the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think every Clemson uh, head football coach should get a piece of that rock. 
just chip off a piece for him every time you hire a coach. <laughs> but eventually, there'll be nothing left. Yeah, you can't do that. We've already lost some of it. Those animals from whenever it was. Yeah. No, that was Clemson students that did it. That was the story I got. Yeah, yeah. we looked. We looked up the story. The guy. Uh, remember, he he got charged with vandalism and something else. Um. Class C misdemeanor slap on the wrist. Yeah, I think he had to pay a fine or something. Yeah. Yeah, but I guarantee he could sell that chunk of that rock. To some well, so that so that's the thing. They never found the rock that he. So I don't know what happened. He must have sold it to somebody because they never they never recovered the piece that, that he broke off of there. Yeah, I, I'm sure it's and, and sitting on the mantle of some Clemson super fan right now. Yeah, that's that would be horrible, dude. That's that's he can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> really, somebody did. Guess someone has it. Yeah. Well, what I mean, what else is he supposed to do with it? You gotta fucking glue it back on. <laughs> yeah. but you know before that happened you could anybody you could walk up to the rock and touch the rock and whatever yeah. take a picture with the rock now it's fucking like it's like he's like the pope behind bulletproof glass yeah, yeah they yeah. ruined it yeah they <laughs> had, ruined. had a couple oh. offensive linemen for fucking security they ruined it for everybody i rubbed it man <laughs> <laughs> I've rubbed it too when I was a kid. And what, what do you rub the rock and make a wish? Yeah. The funniest thing is they, so they sell they sell these like foam rock hats that you can wear. You know what I'm talking about, oh, Volusia? Jesus. No, that's like, sounds, like the I'm, Green Bay cheese heads. Yeah, exactly like that, except it's the rock. But the funny part is they didn't start selling those foam uh, rock hats until after it was vandalized. So so the 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 hat is has a big chunk taken out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I need to get one of those hats. You know, th- maybe maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll order one of those fucking hats and wear it on the first game stream. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see how much those cost. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I like it. Uh, Howard's Rock foam hat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you even buy these from? Uh, rockdeathvalley.com. Oh my God, you got to see a picture of this. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at this fucking tater man right here with his hat on. Uh, would you wear it to a game, Pete? Yeah. <laughs> There's a picture of Shane Beamer wearing one. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, dude. Holy crap, that's great. Why, why is Shane Beamer wearing one? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's like an AI, you know, like superimposed. Uh, there it is, folks. It. Howard's Rock replica hat. <laughs> this is, I want this. <laughs> He's so ridiculous. I want it. I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> oh, it's <Hey>. terrible. It's <laughs> fantastic, dude. Come on. Hold on. Uh, for sale. Let's see if I can buy one here. How much is it gonna set me back? If this costs more than twenty bucks, I'm not buying it. Oh, it's nineteen ninety nine in stock. Hey, I'm in luck. There you go. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Plus shipping. Yes. Nice. Here it is. I, th- I think you have gone up to 35. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, oh, good news, too. It's all it's one size fits all. No, oh, right. No, no, it says okay. you it says usually one size fits all. Whatever yeah. that means. Yeah, usually. It's got really big. Well, <laughs> well, you have to make you have to make the exceptions for the chest halls. One size fits most. Is that what that means? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like how they said that though. Usually one yeah, size usually. fits all. Not normally how you phrase that. So uh, it is 12 and a half inches by five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Okay. Uh, it's made from high quality foam. Right. Uh, this replica hat hybrid is built to last. Cool. 
Uh, great display on your home, office, man cave, tailgate, or atop your head during the big game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm definitely buying one of these yeah, i don't know why i don't have one yet yeah i'm about to say how have you not how did you i don't know, know that those things existed yeah i don't know why i don't have one uh, but that's going to change you fall, you know, it'll cushion your head. that's a good point yeah, if Mrs. Pete would, had been uh, wearing one when she fell at the, at the uh, game a few years ago when I almost got arrested, uh, she wouldn't have uh, busted her head open like she did. True, yeah. Yeah. It's all we'll protect, yeah. It's like a helmet. <laughs> well, that, that's one story as she fell down. Apparently some other people said it, there was a different story. Well, there was 82,000 people that saw her fall. So and that's exactly what I told the police. <laughs> I say, I said, uh, I said, pull up the tape. <laughs> it's on tape. Three red, flag, three red challenge flag on that one. Yeah, I haven't looked up to see. You said something about going George Tech. I haven't looked up to see what the George Tech tickets are. I didn't even think like there'd be anything I could find any prices yet because normally tickets don't go on sale till the summer. Right. So. Like, I always thought, like, StubHub was people, like, season ticket holders and shit, like, selling their tickets. A lot of them are. I guess, I guess universities allot so many to places like that now. Yeah. Well, every time I've ever bought tickets off of, like, uh, StubHub or one of those sites, it's definitely coming from a season ticket holder, I think, because they, they the, the, the individual themselves sends me their tickets, not the university. All the times but. I've ordered off of StubHub or whatever, I've always got them digitally. So. Did yeah, yeah, but the but the but the owner of the tickets is the one that transfers them to uh, to you digitally. I don't. I don't know. I guess it's both. It works both ways, but. Well, I know for sure. At least the what what game was that? I can't remember a game I went to a, a couple of years ago because the when we sat down in our seats, the people that were sitting next to us said, oh, you bought Larry and Brenda's tickets or something because they usually sit here. So they were definitely season ticket holders. I'm like, yeah, Larry and Brenda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we got their tickets. No, you should have just, you should have said, no, I am Larry. This is <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Um, really good anti-aging cream. Well, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe Larry's younger than me. How, how do you know? Well, I am assuming. Yeah. It is possible because I'm old. Well, you're probably younger than Larry, though. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Uh, Jay says, uh, Volusia, the, 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 the foam hat's not smokable. Nah. No. <laughs> so don't try to smoke it, I guess. Why, uh, why, would, you, why would you try to smoke it? Because it's a rock. It's yeah. a rock. <laughs> I got the joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I figured you did, Volusia, but... <laughs> I got the joke. <laughs> poor, poor Vic has lived such a sheltered life. <laughs> It went right over his head. It wouldn't have went over his head if he was wearing that hat, though. No. Well, I'm, I don't know. I've never, I've never done crack, so. Yeah, me either. Yeah, no. I don't. Do we need to? Uh, do we need to buy you one of those hats too, there, Vic? I, I mean, I'd be willing to try crack. It seems pretty fun. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'll try anything once. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's the key. Once. Once. Uh, I've never been afforded the op. Nobody's ever offered me crack before. 
Yeah, me either. This yeah. just popped up on my, my notification just popped up on my ESPN app. Oregon DB Dalen Austin was arrested Monday in connection to a fatal hit and run near campus. Oh, no. Oh. I thought he was going to say he was arrested for smoking crack. Shit. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. That's no bueno. Uh oh. No bueno. Uh oh. Matt Dummett says my neighbors cook meth. Well, that's not surprising. You live in Ohio. Yeah. I just assume every other house in Ohio is cooking meth. Yep. yep. Yeah, Matt Dummett's the one in between. Yeah. Right. <laughs> between two of them? Nope. I was going to say, it's, it's a statistical certainty then. Statistical certainty, yeah. That begs the question, if Matt knows they're cooking meth, why don't the police know that? I don't know. Matt's, not, Cause, Matt's, cause not, cause snitch, Matt, Matt's Matt not a snitch, man. Matt's not a snitch. philosophy, snitches get snitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. There's a lot of that out there where I live, especially once you get out there by the Hatchie River and shit. Yep. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, more than a few meth labs have blown up out there. Lots of people yeah. are making meth in Tennessee, so... Yeah. Nope. Out by the Mississippi and Hatchie River. Yeah. Walter White, they are not. Matt says he's called the police twice. What, they just don't believe you, or? So he is a snitch. Maybe, I guess maybe that's, I guess maybe someone calling and telling them is not enough. I don't know. Sure hey, Matt, is. This, hey, Matt, this is what you do. Wait till the, wait till the, the people who are cooking the meth leave the house so you know nobody's in there. Uh, then if they, if they leave a window open or something, just go throw a match in there and run. I don't think that's, <laughs> God. I don't think that's a great strategy. I mean, it, it'll get rid of the lab. Yeah. Problem solved. <laughs> well, one out of the two problems solved. Right. Because he's got to deal with one on the other side. True. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, matches are cheap. Well, if it blows up, it might take a part off of his house too. You gotta think about that. Yeah. No, nah, he'll be fine. Oh, here he is. Yeah. What's up, Matt? So, um, <laughs> I've I have called the police. I actually called him two weeks ago. Because they blocked my goddamn driveway. My mother was having chest pains. Oh, they refused to move their vehicles. I had to call the police. Right. One night, I smelled meth coming in from their windows. You smelled meth? Everything. What's yes, that smell like? What's meth smell like? It's a very Sudafed. bad odor. Sudafed and Drano. That's what it smells like? I mean, it's a couple of ingredients, so... Another thing they have now caused, uh, we have rats all around here now because of them. Rats? Rats like meth? Yes, I'm not, I'm not joking. We got rats, too, now because of them. They won't take no, their garbage the... out. Oh, okay. Are, They're are putting the their fucking garbage on the back porch. Well, people that are smoking meth are usually preoccupied. They don't. They forget to do things like take out. Yeah, I would have. I just would assume that people of uh, they're smoking meth would have a very clean house because they're. I mean, they're up twenty four hours a day. They got nothing better to do than clean. I mean, well, when I called the police and I told them where they uh, putting all the shit at, they said we can't check it in their yard. That's not our job. Then whose fucking job is it? <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell the police? <laughs> did you tell the police that they were cooking meth in there? I said I smelled meth one night. <laughs> Maybe they were just. But smoking. they said they can't go in their house and search anything. Yeah, they, they need. Can. Yeah, they need a warrant for that. There's yeah. an amendment about this, famously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, doesn't somebody snitching giving you prob give you probable cause? Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, but they they could at least investigate it. Actually, yeah, I think it does. I mean, an eyewitness to a murder is is probable cause to arrest somebody. Yeah. Yeah, but there has to be proof that a murder happened. There's no proof that any crime was committed here. Well, you smell. Well, you smelled it. So. Yeah, I don't think leaving your trash on your back porch is uh, grounds for getting a warrant for cooking meth. 
Right. Uh, Although it probably should be. I think smelling meth uh, should be probable cause. Yeah. Yeah. Like Nick says, sir, how do you know what meth smells like? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I can still happily say that's on the list of shit that I haven't put into my body yet. I yeah. still think that what you should do is just throw a match in their window and see I mean, what happens. It's not the worst idea. I mean, it'll it'll, it'll be killed. No, it'll it'll no. But it, it'll answer it'll answer the question if they are cooking meth. If the house blows up, then you know you were right. If it doesn't, then you just burn somebody's house down. I mean, <laughs> it was just burned down regularly <laughs> like a normal house. <laughs> I'm not going to fuck with them. They've already fucked with me. I mean, I wouldn't burn their house down. I think that would be yeah, it. That, that gives me more excuse to fuck with them if they fucked with me. Yeah. Have you seen me? I, it, it's obvious I can't defend myself. Yeah. Well, that's why you just wait till they're not home. Also, if you do throw a match in their, in their window, can you at least record it and upload it to YouTube so we can watch it? Yeah, now you're trying to get my channel shut down. No, no, Your no, channel? Listen, Matt, you, can't, you can defend yourself. Just remember the wise words of Samuel Colt. God made all men. I made them all equal. I think um, that your channel being shut down would be the least of your worries if you upload a video of you burning someone's house down. Well, as somebody who's had their channel shut down before, uh, you, you don't have to upload it to your channel. Just send me a, a copy of the video. I'll upload it. Right. I'm not scared. Yeah. Don't do this. <laughs> You know, I mean, way worse shit gets left up on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Right. L listen, if YouTube tries to shut your channel down, just tell them you're a liberal and they'll leave you alone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I ain't doing that. <laughs> He's not crazy. <laughs> no, now you are trying to get me killed. <laughs> no, I, I just said YouTube will leave you alone. Oh. Uh. I'm just kidding, Matt. Don't throw a match in their window, please. Uh, if you, if no. you do that and get arrested, I'll feel I'm bad out, then. I'm outnumbered. I can't do anything. All right, good. Just we stay. Need to invest in some firepower there, Matt. Just stay away from those people, Matt. <clears throat> I already told you I can't own a gun. Yeah, those people are crazy. So. Do you think though that if you wanted some meth, they give you a, like a discount because you are their neighbor? Like, like maybe like twenty percent off or something. Out. They, I'm pretty sure they put a gun to my head. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh... Yeah, but you don't have to worry about the aim of somebody hopped up on meth. Yeah. Do you? I'm just curious if he gets a discount. Like, can you get cheap meth? Like, I know it's cheap anyway. Yeah. I think. I don't know how much does meth cost. I'm assuming most meth heads don't have like a bunch of money. Uh, you want me to uh, look that up right now? I don't know how much. Look it up. Costs. Yeah. See how much meth costs? I'm not sure if Google can give you an answer on that. Well, I'm doing it anyway. Like, how much does a gram cost? <laughs> yeah. Uh, street prices. Let's see. Is it blue meth? Hmm. I don't think that's a thing. $10 it is on Breaking Bad. To four hundred dollars. Ten dollars to four hundred dollars. That's a big discrepancy there. That's, not that's a gram of meth. If you get an ounce of meth, it's one hundred and fifty to three hundred per ounce. You get that's not very much at all. Meth, it's forty to sixty dollars per three point five grams. That's cheap. Yeah, that's what that it costs. <laughs> Hell, that's super cheap. That's cheaper than beer. I don't think I'd stick with the beer, though. Oh, no. Now, unless, they put, unless they put some blue food coloring in it, then we can talk. Because <coughs> I've heard the blue shit is the good shit. Yeah, that's what they said on the TV show. Mm -hmm. That's what the talking box told me. That's right. You don't, want, you don't want the shit with the chili powder in it. <laughs> you want the blue stuff. <laughs> 
If it's on TV, it must be true. Rack yeah. Dog says meth is cheaper than weed. It is. That's what it, yeah, that, that's... Yeah. And you're and you're uh, you're also more productive on meth than you are on weed. You are. Like you can get shit done. Well, you know what drove up the price of weed is all these dispensaries, competition in the market. Yeah. yeah. But I think, and I don't smoke weed anymore, but I do think that I would be happier to not have to worry about getting arrested for it and be able to buy it at a store. Yeah, so I have to wait for some stone guy to bring it to my house. Yeah, yeah, of course, Volusia's all for helping the corporations and <laughs> muscling the little guy out. <laughs> no, but... Legality always. I'm all for not getting arrested for it, though. Values. Yeah, leave, leave it to Volusia to fucking help these goddamn corporations. Yeah. Haven't you There's listened no. to Bernie Sanders? Yeah. I'm for, I'm for small-time growers, dude. Yeah, well, how about how about the small time dealer? How about that? Yeah, you're forgetting uh, about him. Not him. Well, that's just not very liberal of you. Uh, maybe not. I don't have to tow the party line on everything, do I? No. Yes, according to them, you do. Oh, yeah, I know, but I but I don't though. No, you don't. Yeah. Do you know how much weed cost in China? Uh, it's not. It, I mean, no, I'll tell you. I'm gonna tell you how much it costs. It costs you 20 years. <laughs> that's what it costs you. No, no, it's not that. It's not that high. It costs you 20 years, or it costs you getting uh, deported. Yeah, yeah that, yeah, that. No, yeah. no, they won't deport you. They'll send you one of those fucking internment camps. They got the muscles no, in. No, well, I thought that you had your uh, uh, your uh, your friend that got deported. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and all he did was have weed in his piss. Yeah. He didn't even have weed. Air, but yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, I won't yeah, get into the details on that. That, does, that doesn't sound very progressive. What? Not supporting the small the small business or Yeah, well, deporting people for having <laughs> Oh no. For popping positive on a piss test. Well I never said that China was or a hair follicle today. test. I never said they're progressive here. No, they're definitely not. Yeah. I mean, they are in some ways, but not in most. Yeah. Uh, well, guys, I have to go. As a matter of fact, right. I have, uh, I'm super late. So. Okay. Until yeah, next time. Working overtime. Today. Yeah, working overtime for free, baby. Let's go. Hell yeah. Appreciate All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I, 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 had, I had a good time. Thanks for coming on. All of you. Yep. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, go Tigers and that. Yep. All right. All right, everybody. We do have to go. Uh, yeah, what's today? Wednesday? Yeah, today's Wednesday. Oh, everyone have a great Wednesday. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys very soon. Your boy is checking.